Yeah, I suppose Sean. It is Sean. Yeah, this is what my hair looks like. You can see it. Uh, yeah, it's uh, it's up there. So welcome, welcome everybody to the first low tier tournament. I guess I should put on the Monster Rancher music. There we go. We got some music in the background. I hope you're all having a fantastic night. It's gonna be a very fun day. Uh, I hope it'll get copyright strikes for the the stinger, but we'll see. We might have to change that halfway through. Uh, looks appropriate while playing a 90s game. Hell yeah. Drinking white wine out of a mug because it's one of those days. Uh, first and foremost, oh my god. I have to say thank you to a lot of people before we get started. So, Rosaleo, thank you for the sub. Matt Moore, thank you for the sub. Mr. Hall followed. Alders, thank you for the follow as well. Adish D Senpai with the resub, appreciate that. Patch at 12 months, that's fucking nuts. A full year. Patch beating me in tournament. Hate to see it. Psycho Smurf 96, thank you for the sub, really appreciate it. M Magnet Man as well. And then DJ Hive Mind and Blasto and Darrow followed earlier today. And there's a bunch of people from yesterday. Uh, Lunar Knight, cool guy. Pretty Boy Vinny, Aquasolus. Thank you, everybody. Really, really appreciate it. I appreciate the support and the outpouring. I love this game, and I love that you love the game, you know? So, uh, let's get into it. I guess uh, we could talk about the matches, but like you don't know who any of these monsters are. Uh, I suppose I should talk about the tournament, though. This is uh, the low-tier tournament. Let me, I suppose if I do this... The, the transition point I forgot to set on that, so it's a little bit wonky. It doesn't work properly. Oops. Stream failure 101. Um, let me transition point 3000, 2000, okay. Let me try that again real quick. Yeah, whatever. And trying to play it twice in a row doesn't work, but that's fine. It works now. Brent there with the 100 biddies. Thank you so much. And Macho Cheese saying, hey, hey, Macho Cheese, how are you doing? Uh, we are doing a low tier tournament today. I don't have the list on hand. I guess I could actually take a look at it real quick. Um, hold on one sec. Let me pull it up in my Discord, Rooney. Uh, 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 what is it? Important stuff. Here is the old one. Oh, I don't have a new one. Where's I don't have a new one. God damn. Okay. Oh, give me one sec. Give me one sec. I got to find the new one. Uh, 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 I think, what's his name just posted it, a Teach just posted mine in the regular Discord. Chat's been going fucking nuts lately, so I haven't had a chance to, there you go. Okay, so, we used this as the tier list, right? If you were in ape mode, or mochi mode, or anything in between, you're illegal. If you're in A tier or above, no dice for you. No dice. Wonder Chef with the sub, thank you. Appreciate that. Very kind of you. So yeah, are you a mochi mode or are you ape mode? One or the other. I hope nobody goes mochi mode tonight. I hope you all go ape mode. Hope you all go ape shit. Don't you just want to go ape shit? Nobody wants to go mochi mode. Uh, and so, bunch of monsters no one's ever seen before. So, let's get into it. Let's get into it. Uh, 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 I guess I don't need to bring that up anymore. Okay, so. First up, I was checking Necromancer to make sure monster was working. Got Polka. Holy fuck. I am gonna... There you go. Okay, sure. And we got... <laughs> Oh my god, these names. I got DeMille. Uh, 
Pixie fight to start things off? Oh, baby. Oh, menu. That's not what I wanted. Fast forward off. Uh, give up. Yes. Okay, so let me set prediction. Uh, one player, two. Okay, 30 second prediction on this. Every match, because I figured there's not really a way for me to do this in three days that isn't just double limb. Um, I have to do double limb. I couldn't do pools. It's too many monsters. I just can't get it done in 12 hours. So uh, every match is going to be best three out of five. Everything is best three out of five. And, you know, we, uh, we hope it doesn't take a million years. Okay, prediction outcome. Ooh, people are liking the jilt. Let's roll it. Oka's bigger. I've seen this movie. That bolt did a lot of damage. Why is bolt doing so much damage? What the fuck? One more? Uno mas? Nil's got the power. Dodges, finally. Power bang, 40%. Jesus. Mill with... The dodge when it mattered, and then the instant win. Brother, Getting brothers already. Flame, 36%. That's a miss to Mill. What you got? What you got? You got a 35 flame of your own. That one lands 426 damage. Big boys damage. Two in a row? No, sir. Just flame mode. Look at that. About to get banned from League of Legends. Ah. Uh, well, here comes the kicks. And here come the power tags. DPS flame. There's the bang. The bang misses. Oh, shit, yes, that's, uh, why is it so weird? Let me fix that. Why is the chat so strange? Um, what if I did 400? That's so funny. Uh, there you go. <laughs> I don't know why it's been so weird. It, it fucked up on everything. It's like it reset its own settings or something. Chat's very zoomed out. I fixed it. Don't worry. Okay, so it's mill up 2 0. <laughs> We're going overboard. Check in Moose Meadows rewards. I, do I gotta really explain this every time, Matt? Do I really have to explain that every time there's a tournament, Moose Meadows is turned off? Brother, like, come on. You know better at this point. You're here every day. <laughs> Bang is gonna land. Poke is not out of it yet. That's big damage. You got a low guts rate in real life? Oh no. Here comes the money. Here we go. Money Man, my brother made me miss my chance to interrupt the intro. How's it going, man? It's going well, thank you. Appreciate it. 200 bitties from Jim Beasy himself. It's 2 1 for Polka. Let me. There we go. There we go. A little... I'm less centered now that I've done that. That's fantastic. Got a little bit less glare from the camera, though. Okay, there's the pats. Not what you want. Man wants to roll discs, you know. Can't blame him. That's got a lot of discs. He's one of the, the leaders right now. Just working on ease. Oh my god. The foolery into the flame? God damn. Having low guts rate IRL be equivalent to having high resting heart rate. I think part of that, and then also like the whole thing on The Simpsons where 
they use the reflex hammer on Homer's knee and it takes like six hours for him to react. Just a combination of those two. The bolts, the comeback. Oh my god. Could have been a 2 2, but instead, DeMille's gonna win that one. God damn. Is the bracket command turned off? It's not. It's not 2 2. We got Matt Bourne and Moby next. You guys are trying to fool me. We got a Baku. We got the Moby. Okay, so there's not a lot of options here. That looks not correct. Looks like it was attempted, but it's over the cap. That one looks like over the cap as well. They're just the two? Oh, there's Rob's. Yeah, so that's over. Will is over. Okay, um, I feel like I don't know what to do here. It's just those two. There's got to be more. Name is Ed? Ah, there we go. There you go. That works. Too many Mobies. Okay, so that went to the Pixie. Who would have thought? Predictions Live, make your bets. Big smoosh is incoming. We got Kingzilla, and we got the Baku with the eyeball inside its throat. Just classic monsters. You know and love, you know? And love. Clown Baku. Get Mad Born. Moby, what you got? Diving press opener. Big damage. Or Hondo on a tank. Oh, he's got Roll Assault, though. And it misses. 39%. Another diving press will do it. 99. He's just chilling. He's just chilling. Bite's gonna do about 100 bones. 112. And but at 57. Ooh, 400 damage on the headbutt. That's gonna be it. Wow. Wow. I think the Baku Joker mix is your favorite Baku. It's interesting. I like that's wearing like a cape. I can press opener once again. 442. Why does Baleen look so cool? <laughs> List the cool things: motorcycles, sunglasses, and Baleen. Top three. It answers the question, <laughs> if the Baku wore a shirt, how would it wear it? Matt Bourne takes a game two, one all, going into game number three. The diving press opener again, he likes it. He knows what it takes to be a champ, you know? Zilla Rush at 51, hits 665 on the crit, just barely not enough. Matt Bourne still hanging in there. Bite. Give him a nibble. A little nibble. Oh, scratch misses. The two bites, that's two nibbles. Chomp chomp. He got him. Mad born up 2 1. Tank Zill is kind of hard to run. The fun build. It's just very spooky. Because of stuff like this. The 4 hundo to start things off. Starting in slot 3 definitely doesn't help either. 
Creating Clown Baku speed must have taken a long time. You can use uh, Ghost Chips to make it a lot easier. Or combine. Well. Four in five games. Five in five games. Adborn's going to take that one 3-1. We got Tombay Pogi next. Not that one. There we go. Got the ape. I should have known it was an ape. And we got a uh, working title. Working T. Yeah, you know me. By Jim Beasy himself. Okay, people like the Baku in that one. Predictions live. Who do you like? Do you like Tom Bay? Do you like working? Bull. It's a good sensor system. Just give it a chance. You know? It's never made a mistake. Hopper gang. First hopper of the night. First ape of the night, too. I think we're going to see... There's quite a few of both of these monsters. I think the only monsters that, like, weren't entered were uh, Niton and Ghost, I think, are the only two, if I remember correctly. Flick combo with anger. This can do so much withering. Minus 37. Oh, my God. Didn't do much damage, but, you know, quite a bit. There's the flick. One, two, jump low is going to wither as well. Working title just stopping Tombe from attacking. I always thought the hopper portrait looked like it was flipping the bird. I think it's like, uh... Like he's trying to uppercut you, but he's very small. Do you regret taking too long to decide to enter this? You know? Maybe next time. Oh, he's got ease. Oh, no. Power and ease. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh no. So that was four times damage. Tombe takes game one. You're like the only Niton trainer and you entered the other one. I'd be entering more Nitons now if I hadn't entered like seven or eight competitively by this point. Working title just got sent to the hospital. Maybe. Look at that guts, though. Right. Eeb, thank you for the follow. Appreciate that. Oh, crit jabs? Oh, you can catch up. Two in a row? This would unironically be a format Ape would, or uh, Nighton would be really good in. Because Nighton's mostly bad because right. it struggles against the best monsters in the game, but not so much the rest. Look at that. That was seven in a row. Jay Brandt, thank you for the follow. Appreciate that. Oh no! Oh my god! I don't have words for what's happening right now. Here comes the money. Here we go. So that was sound of you. Yeah, it wasn't very lucky. But you hit hopper combo and you've got a guts lead after hitting the hopper combo, which is kinda crazy. Two thwacks in a row, giving working title a 50 guts lead. Oh, there's the anger. Oh no, he goes for a hook? I mean it's still damage. But, I mean, he could win rolling down hooks. Maybe. No. Apes, as soon as Ape hits 50 guts, Working Tuttle's going to start doing, like, zero damage. Roll Assault. How much damage are we looking at? 320, not enough to kill Working Tuttle with 99 guts. He can win it right now. Got options. One, two jump lows. Two in a row could do it. 
Oh, or just the one with the crit. Working title. Oh my god, man. I can't believe how... <laughs> oh, it hurts to be a Jim Beasy fan sometimes. Another hopper combo, Ape with a huge gutsy though, this isn't going to do a lot of damage yet. 287 for an almost S-Force tech. Working title with, there's a swing throw, with a guts lead. 700 damage, minus 40 guts, doesn't proc anger, Tombay's got a great shot and it doesn't proc anger. And another foolery, oh my god, foolery into the hopper combo, you know, not terrible. Wow, big damage. Tom Bay needs to... Oh, he gets power, though. Okay, so, you know, he's he's got, like, 99% chance to win this. It's the Thwack. That's going to be it. Tom Bay with the 3-1. Wow. Talon and Bugtimus Prime up next. We got more Hopper action. Bugged him. He's dead, bugged him. I'll die before I surrender, Tim. Who's Tim? This is, uh... Looks like bugged him. This is a little bit short. Yeah, short by about 100 points. So the ape wins that one. Hope it's not all tanks, it's not all tanks. Most people didn't run tanks. Okay, Talent and Bugged Miss Prime. Maybe he'll have better luck than the last hopper did. Rapid flick opener, misses at 65%. Two speedy builds. I love Spinning Horn. That kind of sucks, but it looks very cool. He just teleports, like he slowly like hovers towards you. Spooky. There's the horn combo. Will it kill? Not quite. Leaves him with a hundo. Oh, procs the anger though. When two jump blows at 40%, will it kill if it lands and it does. Look at that. Talon. Game one. And there's a tournament for is bad but looks cool text. This is it? Yeah, definitely. I wanna play video games. Yankee and Mochi with the sub, thank you. Appreciate that. Thank you for supporting the community. Wither only tournament? Um there's an anti-withering tournament that uh I think it was Abeth tried to run, and people just were like, I'm just gonna do the thing that does the most withering anyway. And that ended up being the strongest way to play. Spinning Horn only costs 25? Like, it's not great. Like, it's super inaccurate, but... I didn't realize it only cost 25. Rapid click and a miss at 71. Oh, ADHD, the, the mochi with the bandages is such a good emote. Jab? Oh no, the jab would have won it if it landed. Bugtimus Prime going to barely win this one. 30 to 34. One all going into game three. Uno for the bug, Uno for Talon. Rapid flick lands. Decent damage, tiny bit of withering. Bugged him as prime with a 40 guts lead. Now there's the horn combo, misses. I'm not really a big fan of horn combo. I always feel like it ends up doing way less damage than I expect it to. It's the flick at, four, at 63. And having lower max life actually wins you around. It, it can, it definitely can. But uh, if he had had 700 life, 
he would have won by more, you know? 2-1 for the hopper. Is there betting here? It's not prompting you? If it's not prompting you, if you're on mobile, you might have to reset the stream. It's a mobile bug. Sometimes it just stops telling you that a thing's happening. The anger. Into the fist missile, maybe not the time to get angry. Maybe not the time to get angry. It's very hard to pick a good time to get angry as a uh, speed monster, though. So what are you going to do? Game five. First game five of the night. Ooh, wrap and click misses again. 65. Spinning horn. Now one and one. It's the punch at 56. You can just press the channel points button. Yeah, there there isn't a glitch on uh, mobile where it stops updating though. And a dope plant build for this that you just completely forgot to submit? Oh no. Well, there will be more tournaments. Oh, the 1-2 jump blow is doing a big amount of damage there. Talon's going to take that one. 3-2. So next up we got Tom Yeti and Necromancer. Necromancer might not be in the freezer yet. If not, we'll just skip this one for now. We got many, many matches to go. Your submission didn't go through or something? What was your uh, submission? Finn Lizzie? Um, let me take a look real quick. Let me take a look real quick to make sure I didn't make a mistake somewhere. Okay, let me uh, let me make sure. Sorry guys, we're taking a quick break. I'll edit all this shit out. I'm checking. I'm checking. Yeah, I don't see Thin Lizzy in the list. <laughs> yeah, it looks like you forgot to enter it, or you entered a different monster. That's unfortunate. Sorry about that, man. Um, let's see if I can... Um, I don't think I can add it to bracket at this point. I can add it in at the very bottom. Or no, I... I don't know where I could add it that wouldn't screw up the matches we just had. Um... I mean, the easiest way to check is just to try and fill it. Oh, I guess you can't try and fill out the form right now. Um, let's see if I can add it at the bottom.
Where could I add it that wouldn't mess up these last couple of matches? Okay, I could do that. That's fine. There you go. You're in the tournament now. So let's take a look real quick. Just to show you what happened there. So I gotta re-enter these. This is a 3-1. Uh, I have a... I just saved a screenshot real quick. So I don't mess anything up. Mill... Is that one? 3 1. Madborn and Moby. 3 1. Tomvay and Working Title. 3 1. And then Talon just beat Bugdemus Prime. 3 2. Okay, so I must ask you a question, and Thin Lizzy's up next. Tom Yeti, okay, Tom Yeti Necromancer is still happening. Oh, I put manual though. So, uh, I must ask you a question and Thin Lizzy will be up after this. We still got this shit happening. Okay, so let's start a prediction here. Sorry for the slight delay, guys. Necromancer is a little bit, uh,. A little bit understated. A tiny bit understated. Does have the max intelligence though. So even though he's only got the 400... Even though he's only got the 400 skill, he only needs to land like one attack with a crit, you know? All he needs is brains. Crit Snowstorm 13%, it can do it. Unfortunately, that's probably the game for him. Free hundo. Tom Yeti's gonna take game one. Skullcapped is cool. I love Skullcapped. It's my favorite Jill by like a wide margin. He's going for it. He knows what he needs to do to win. He's like, I don't have a very good shot at this. That's a KO. Jill combo at 80% is terrifying. That shit does 60 damage. 60 force. That's a 2-0. Game 3. Surprised Jill combo is actually a combo. Oh, he dodges it. He's still in it. He's still in it. You like Bengal more? Bengal's really good too. I like the the purebred Jill. I like um, what's his name? Wandar. There's a lot of cool Jills. Can't say he didn't try. He's doing his best. Oh, it hits it. Okay. Still losing, but not by much. He can dodge another Jill combo. He's got a shot. It's only 77% chance. It's the one-two straight. The Necromancer's still in it. Single limb best of five, right? Yeah, it double limb best of five. It's a three-day tournament. It's the double slaps. Tom Yeti takes that. Quick 3-0. Jill Combo and Frantic Rush have great icons. I love how Jill Combo looks like a snowman. I must ask you a question. Hearing Jill sounds for the first time? Oh, we got more Jill sounds. Hell yeah. And Thin Lizzy. Jill does have great sounds. Okay, so 98% on the winner there. That was quite the long shot.
a hundred to one odds or fifty to one odds. A little bit high, I think, but you know, and maybe not. Thought so seeing Jill in low tier because it's so strong in hard mode. It's so strong. If you guys think Jill combo is good, you should see Quiet Snow in hard mode, which is the movie got turned into. It's fucking obnoxious. One could say too strong, but I love Jill, so I wouldn't be the one saying that. Here to support every zoom, there's a lot of zooms. Ooh, we got a frantic rush. Fire charge build. Let's go. Big damage there. 394. Decent amount of withering on that. Mustache goes for the double slaps. It misses. Double slaps, misses again. Thin Lizzy has, like, the power zoom build. You get the basics, you get the basic chains, and then you get charge and fire charge. That's the nails build. The nails build also had, uh, had, like, every, uh, sharp tech, though, which made it worse. 50-50 on charge, a crit would kill. Clap attack at 43, how much damage are you looking at? 172 minus 15 guts, thin Lizzy. Good shot here, misses the tail lash at 64%. Still has a lot of guts saved up, though. Fire charge maybe overkill. Oh, the frantic rush! It misses. I must ask you a question. Is in a good shot. Win this. Missed the tail lash again. Two seconds left on the clock. Thin Lizzy can attack. Million Claws hits at 58. That's probably going to do it. Just barely. Just barely. Just be clapped tonight. They're having a good time. Thin Lizzy wins game number one. So used to the censorship system, your brain immediately tried to work out what the question mark was in Mustache's name. Yeah, me too when I first saw it. Mmm. Big wither. Not really. That move does like 50 withering in uh, hard mode. The one, two, three million claws. No. Who's to say? You got one, you got two, or you got a million. That's the one, two straight. One could call that million punches. Block combo. It's the claw combo. How much damage? 452. Thin Lizzy up 2 0. Your internet went out? Oh no. Letter Q is censored. Yeah. Bigs the catch is getting slashed up. Missing the fire charge this time. Another slap combo. I love how on the really long animations like that, like he just keeps swinging. Like, he misses, and he's like, I will not adjust where I'm swinging my hands, you know? What's the best of the- on these? A best of five. First of three wins. The Lashes hits at 58. Big crit there. 593. Good god. Oh! The foolery, but it doesn't do anything about it. Maybe they'll come back into it. Like an Elden Ring when you're firing the laser and you're just like, I hope they walk back into the laser. Well, combo hits at 53. Some missed combos are funny in their slash combo. He just gives up. He knows. He's like, oh fuck. That move's safe on whip. 3 0. Wow. Fergie and Andre up next. I wasn't expecting that to be a 3-0. I do think Mustache's uh, tech loadout has some of Jill's weaker techs. But, uh, still, I wasn't expecting... Oh, hold on. Was that, uh, 70 life? Or did I just read that wrong? Andre. More zooms. Oh, it's 700 life. Okay, he went 800 defense, 700 life. Oh my god. Okay. Who do you like here? Andre, a little bit um, overkill on the speed. Could have put a couple more points into life, but you know. If you don't get hit, it doesn't matter.
And so just so you guys know how this is going to work, we're just going to play until about midnight and then we'll call it for the night. And then tomorrow we'll pick up where we left off. And then on Wednesday, the same thing. I don't think it's going to take us three whole days. I'm just giving myself time to like, you know, in case it doesn't get done in two days, we'll have the third day. And if it does get done, then we'll just, you know, play some Monster Entry 3. We'll finish up the, the no damage, beating the game without doing any damage build we're doing. Five balls opener. Big damage. Hard to tank your off stat. Opera combo 39% that misses. Oof. Intelligence tank plant so bad. Hopefully low tier is something you do more of. It's a really fun format. Intelligence tank plant. Interesting. Oh my god, it crits for a kill. Fergie. That shit's Fergalicious. Andre looking 2000 and late, you know? Well, I'm gonna do a little bit of damage, but it's not what it wants. It wants to use his intelligence text. This offer's not joking. Fireball, big damage on the fireball. That's only one. He hit him with five earlier and did the same amount of damage. There's the anger. Angry one, two jump lows, about 50%. Misses it. It's going to be in range to use Jab. Goes for 1-2 Jump Lows again, though. Misses it two times in a row. Hypnotism. Can do a tiny bit of damage. A lot of Withering, though. But Fergie doesn't really care about Withering. 1-2 Jump Lows lands the third time. and Not enough to kill. Two guts away from being able to finish this off with a Jab. Let's hit with this Claw. That's not what Andre wants. Another Hypnotism. Not going to be enough. Fergie in range to finish the game right now. Walks forward. Just to be a fucker about it. And lands the 1-2 jump lows. I think Buddy Eye is one of your favorite hoppers. I kind of like how they just kind of threw everything together for him. Wings? I'm sure. Fergie up 2-0. Flick combo. It lands. Does not kill on the crit. Andre still in it. Gets anger. Angry five balls. Angry fireball could be good too. Minus 21 guts. Doesn't really matter on the withering, but you know, it's, it's nice to do the withering regardless. Flick combo 55, he dodges it. Andre's in a good spot to win this one. With fireball, yeah, that's gonna kill. Andre takes game number three. No sweep for the hopper. Dab at 56. Decent amount of damage considering Andre's low life. Misses the second one. Pushing them back into slot three. He's got a shot to use five balls. He uses it. A crit will kill at this point. 612. Not quite enough. There's the anger. Bite. It's got bite? Now, to be fair, it's kind of hard to skip for fireball. Opera combo is going to land. That is an incredibly dead zoo. But there's the grit. It's not out of it yet. Bloody eyes like Morbius. Oh, just like Morbius, there is no sweep. It's the jab to finish him off. The frit. He hit him with the frit. So. Fergie with the 3 0. 3 1, sorry. And that's our first eight matches. Low tier trash and low T got a fight. Oh boy. Is this the six guts rate pixie? Toti, that's not uh, what I meant. Oh, tank Baku, I think we know where this is going. I think we know where this is going with tank Baku. Okay, so that goes to Fergie. No tier trash and low T. Not feeling. He doesn't have the energy, you know? Uh, 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 3 1 for Fergie. No seating for tonight? It's seated. More or less. It's more or less seated.
Okay, predictions live. Soy dog. I got again with the soy dog. Okay, so who do you like? Predictions live. I fucked up and I didn't make it live immediately, but it's live now. So there you go. It's attorney time. It is attorney time. Okay, so if there's one tech we all know this Baku is going to be relying on. I play video games. Hey, Fat Platypus. Thanks for tuning in. Hope you have a fantastic time. Thank you for supporting the stream. We all know Tank Baku. You run Tank Baku, you use Diving Press. He does not have Diving Press. This is the Gust Breath. There's the Flame at 99% that's going to do a lot of damage. Another Gust Breath miss. Oh no. Low tier trash is up close. Up close and personal. Hits the kick. Flame lands, low T's got... I, he's out. He's done for. That's a hot dog. Yeah, this entire tourney's a low tier tourney. It's not necessarily low tiers, it's just all the high tiers are gone. Mid tier and below. Flame, this is where flame shines, when your opponent can't dodge. The kick to add the insult, yeah. No diving press, he really is low D. He's low D too, he doesn't have any damage. He's landing that three bites. A ray finisher? Excuse me? God damn. Low T has not landed an attack yet. He's gone this entire match without landing anything. Just getting withered down. Oh, there's the Gust Breath. Tying it up. Pat. Pat the doggy. Hits him in the nose. I like how when Baku gets hit in the face, his whole snout just like pushes into his face. He landed one Gust Breath in the second match? Oh, okay. There's not much attention I'm paying to this, you know? Bang. That's a KO. That's a KO. But there's the Grit. Grit's not... You know, a necessary win, but he's still in it. Has a guts lead, hits the gust breath. Oh my god, leaves it with 26. Gets the power power kick just to be an asshole. I called it. I always call it. I have the gift of prophecy. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. I know how these matches are going to end before they end. Every single time. So low tier trash with a quick 3-0. Nissa and Battery up next. It's actually interesting is there's not a lot of worms. I thought there was going to be a lot of worms in this tournament because everybody's always like, I love worm, but worm sucks. So I don't want to use it and lose. And then they're like, okay, it's fine. But here's an opportunity to, and everyone's like, nah, I don't, I don't want to. <laughs> okay. Battery, a little bit too much speed. But I mean, maybe it's not form corrected. The 200 less life is obviously, like, bad, but you only need to land the same number of attacks on your opponent as you would any other, you know? And this is beautiful and I want to protect it. I love Wandar. You entered a worm? I think it was, like, you and, like, two other people. Tourney is rigged? How is the tourney rigged? A tank Baku lost to a pixie. That seems very, uh, like, realistic to me. If I don't have my Moosey B money account up right now, I think my phone's dead. So I haven't been betting, but uh, I would have absolutely bet the farm on that Pixie winning. That's also because I had insider knowledge that the Baku didn't have diving press. Twister at 38. Crit will kill. Almost killed without a crit. Big damage there. God damn. A bunch of pixies, moshis, and mocks who are tiered lower than worm. Barely, but yes. Frantic rush lands. Doesn't land the first one. He's like, it wasn't frantic enough. I gotta use it again. Lands it the second time. Battery does foolery and gets slapped for it. No fooling around. This is a no fooling zone. 
That's power. Power headbutt? How much damage? Oh my god, it's enough damage. Are you kidding me? He has no power. The power crit headbutt. That's what? Three times damage? And it was just enough. He gets it. Oh my god. Twister at 38. Doesn't hit this time. Can't wait for Barfala to have an undefeated run. That, I, I wouldn't even feel good about that. So many things would have to go in my favor for that to happen. Like, I raised the stupidest monster as a joke. Like, I don't want it to, like, make people feel bad. <laughs> One, two straight. Bip, bop, boom. How much damage? 310, not quite enough. Battery is still in it. But there's the frantic rush. Tries for the follow up. He's like, he's still down. I'm going to use my Luigi dash attack. But he misses it. One, two straight again. That'll do it. Nissa takes game number two. One all going into game three. If I bet the meadow and lose, do the winners have to do the stream from now on? Yeah, I I have to bequeath my, my stream to someone else. The monster is Barfala. I made a, a Night Flyer, Pixie, mo uh, Pixie Worm, but it's Cocoon from a worm. It's Cocoon from the slowest guts rate worm. So it is a Pixie with a 16 guts rate, which is... Just the shittiest possible monster you can make. Not only the absolute worst pixie, the absolute worst monster competitively. My <laughs> rockworm cocoon pixie, yeah. Punch combo. I did it for the same reason that people climb Everest, you know? I don't want to say I'm a hero, but if you want to say that, you know, I'm not going to stop you. 2 1 for Nissa. Going into game three. Game four, sorry. Twister 38, misses. Nissa, what you got? Tell me what you got, hits the frantic rush. I haven't seen that move crit today yet. That's so much pressure for Ninja Mario. Yeah, it really is. <laughs> hits the frantic rush again. There's the crit, you know. Gift the foresight. Nissa's gonna win that one, 3-1. Though the crit power headbutt to finish off game one makes uh, Battery the winner, in my opinion. Pigs El Grande up next. I wonder, is this um, edited from um, the Grimoire Bout winner? Yes, it is. That's interesting. So it's just full speed Zilla. And Lumberg. Lumberg fucked her. But will Lumberg fuck Tiggs El Grande? I guess we'll find out. We got a tank ape against the Zilla. It depends on what the Zilla's tech loadout is. Tiggs El Grande did very well in the Grimoire bout by running um, Earthquake in a format where nobody could dodge Earthquake. And if he still got Earthquake, his opponent's not going to be dodging it either. That's our prediction. Prediction's live. Thank you, bets. Was anyone mad enough to do Power Pixie for this? Yes, there's at least one Power Pixie. Am I going to enter the Pacifist in a tournament you organize? I'm debating it. Though the Pacifist won't be, uh, won't be a full Pacifist build by the time I'm done. Um, I do have plans to give it an attack once I've actually beaten the game. But... Uh, I because I it wouldn't win, it would lose every single match. People have tried pacifists in Monster Rancher Two that could heal, and they always lose. So mine can't even heal in uh, Monster Rancher Three. So I think it's kind of close to the zero percent chance to win. Tail Lash is maybe the worst possible tech for it to use in this matchup. Big costs associated with it. At least it does a little bit of withering, but not really enough to make it worth it against a tank. Misses the thwack at fifty one. Tinsel Grande in. Slot 3, the grab throw misses as well. They're going to be in slot 3 again. Earthquake will finish this. And a crit. Almost got it. Almost got it. Healing is a lot worse than trying to win on Gats. Healing's not worse than trying to win on Gats if you get hit. If you get hit, trying to heal afterwards is not too bad. The roll assault lands, but Tiggs just needs to land one attack. That's the thing. That's the thing about this. Another Tail Lash is, again, maybe the worst tech he could use, but it does wither a decent amount. That one did not wither a decent amount. Lumberg goes down. A lot of low guts rate tanks. I, you know, far be it for me to tell people how to build. 
I like seeing the variety. It does make me think that I probably could have run like a zero offense plant with just withering and one though. <laughs> we got a fix on rulings for Monster Rancher 3 or is it still up in the air? So I think the big thing is for the first tournament, I'm not going to put any bans on any uh, traits. Because I kind of just want to see how broken it is as like our first litmus and then we can go from there. And then um, stat cap, I don't really know what I want to do. I think 3200 might be too high. But I think going significantly lower might make things samey. Like everyone might do the exact same build. So I kind of don't know what I want to do. If you got opinions on that, let me know. Maybe 3000 would be better than 3200. It's the grab throw at 38. That's big damage. Lumberg's still in this. He's like, I just lost two in a row. I'm not going out this way. Reverse 3 0 incoming, maybe. Knocking up doing a little bit of damage, but not a whole lot. Knocking up's a pretty good tech for 19 guts, though. Ooh, big damage there. Brock's power. Thwack at 52 misses with the power. That would have done it. He's not over yet. Slap can still do this. He still has power active and misses at 53. That could have done it. Tail Ashes. Will it kill? It will not. Someone call Sage Am. Lumberg's still in this. Slap, whack, grab throw, roll salt. He's got the guts for it now. Who's gonna attack first? Who hits first wins? They're just hanging out. They're just hanging out. Roll assault at 36! Bro, you had so many accurate choices. Oh my god. Tiggs El Grande with a 3-0. Ah, you hate to see it. Probably gonna have a chat with Al about it. Right on. Yeah, my my only real like idea, thought process is the whole like I don't want every build to be the same. I want people to choose like maybe 800 is enough speed versus like maybe max speed is how I want to go. Oh, there is a ghost. Um Oh, that's what uh, Salvius was saying earlier. Yeah. And Vin Gasoline, which is a great name. Vinga I think that match got the juices flowing. We got more mocks. People liking mock. So that went to Tiggs. That was the right bet. I wanted to see a closer match, but Tiggs was the right bet. Prediction is live. Make your bets. So yeah, whenever I'm running a tournament, my my like main thought process is I want something that's fun for the players, but also fun for the spectators. Those are like, it's important to have a balance there. You need to make something that is fun to build. Um, and then you also have to allow for experimentation without there being like an obvious like best build, because then it not only makes the player feel like they're kind of pigeonholed into doing a specific thing, but it also makes it kind of boring for the spectator because they're like, oh, everything here is the same. Twister at 42, GG's. There's the grit, though. I've considering going the less obvious choice of Musage in or something like Hangar. I got a couple of choices that I've been debating. I kind of want to run a Durahan, I think, but we'll see. I was taking a look at moves and, uh, like, just the numbers on skills, and there's a lot of crazy shit in Monster Rancher 3 that I wasn't aware of. Like, uh, Plant with the 54 Force Tech. Is it Chew, I think? There's a lot of, like, cool stuff you can do in Monster Rancher 3. Leaf Cutter lands, Bin Gasoline's gonna take game one. You think it's starting a Monster Rancher 3 playthrough so you're ready to build for the tourney? Hell yeah. Yeah, on Wednesday I'll have uh, more info on the Monster Rancher 3 tourney, so hopefully it will have the rule set uh, hammered out by then. It'll be like a month or so before the actual turn, so you'll have plenty of time to build and get into the game. But I'm also going to have info on um, the Monster Rancher Battle Card tourney with a hundred plus dollar prize pool we currently have. Can you go in Power Plan Monster Rancher 3? Yeah, it's, it's definitely better than Intelligence Plan. Charge misses. 
Leaf Cutter at 64. It's damage. Toy Hammer on the 50 50. Mama Uwu lands an attack. Headbutt's gonna land. Basically, no damage though. Oh, the foolery into a headbutt. Oh my god. Vin had a shot and he squandered it. Charge at 60. Mama Uwu's gotta walk forward. Uppercut at 57. This is gonna land. Punches that tree right in the face, and that's a one hit KO. One all going into game at number three. You literally just got the Vin Gasoline joke. It's uh it's not Vince Diesel, it's Vin Gasoline. I think that's one one, right? These matches are taking quite a while, so I'm I'm not sure if it's been three games already. Monster Rancher 3 as a tournament will be really fun because there's people who know way more about it than me, and I'm just gonna YOLO a stupid build into it and do very badly. But there's a little bit of freedom in that, you know? There's a freedom in not knowing what the fuck you're doing, because there's no expectations. Uppercut lands, 500 damage, a lot of withering. Big guts regeneration difference between these two monsters. Bam. Headbutt. Misses. Oh, charge miss at 56. Lands that time. Mama Uwu, 2 1, going into game 4. Expect most people are going to YOLO stupid builds. Me too. But that'll be fun. A lot more variables to control things like traits. Yeah, and I think a lot of people are going to be like, they're going to get one or two traits that they want. Oh my god. Game 5 coming up. Is it game five or is that it? Because he hit the twister game one and then there's the grit. And then I forget if that took a very long time. I think it's game five. Nobody yell at me if I'm wrong because you guys aren't correcting me. It's 2 2. Thank you, man. It's the headbutt. You know nothing about Monster Rancher 3, the game looks great. Oh, hits him with the combo, is that it? 999 damage, Ghost. But the big boy plays, look at that. Is Mama supposed to be said like that one verse in Bohemian Rhapsody? Yes. <laughs> Ooh, didn't mean to make you cry. Oh lot, he coming in Wonky Willow. We got a lot of these, these mocks. A lot of Jills, too. I would have 100% raised a Nighton for this if I was, like, trying to win. Why did I just write Mock? <laughs> Wonky Willow. The wine's kicking in. Just search for a mock. Any mock will do. Okay. Hey, all right. That painting, thank you for the follow. Olad, he coming. We've seen Olad in the DXBL. Interesting build. A lot more life than normal at the cost of some power. How many game fives have we had so far? Two? Talon versus Bugtimus Prime, and then Ama U versus Bin Gasoline. We're almost done round one winners. By that I mean we're we're over halfway. Or we're about halfway. <laughs> we're not almost done, we're halfway. Thing you didn't uh, name your monster a lot, he's zooming like you were thinking. A lot, he's zooming. Oh, the punch combo misses. It's a little bangle. He's cute. Misses. That's not a full grown bangle, is it? Maybe it is. I know Mock's a pretty big monster in the arena. Your favorite Jill, I'm glad you can bet on it. Hell yeah. Been fun so far? Thank you. I'm glad everyone's having fun. I'm having fun. When I hit the uwu, where were you when Moose Bones hit the uwu? Max 
that's pretty huge, so maybe. Yeah. I don't know relative size difference. Also, I just realized, you know how a lot of different monsters have like a floating particle that they use as an attack, like um, Gel and uh, Duckin and them? Kato's got one too, which I assume is for the ice spikes. But because it's uh, transparent, it's kind of hard to see, especially on this ground. But I just noticed for the first time he's got one. Ooh, one, two straight misses. Only ever noticed the ducking one. There's one on Hangar, there's one on a couple of different monsters. Not Kato, Jill, yes, sorry. That's 2 0 for uh, Olad. He coming going into game three. Twister at 34%. You know, it's unlikely to hit, but it is 34% chance to instantly win. 1 1? It's 1 1? Wonky Willow won game one? I'm not paying any attention. Sorry, guys. I think Kato has one as well. I don't know if he does. Because it has his pipe and oil? Maybe. It's possible, yeah. It's another leaf cutter. Wonky Willow up 2 1. Wrong it's? Well, I mean, you're going to grammar jail now. You've made the mistake. Say goodbye to your family. Pack your bags. Another Twister lands. Two in a row? Oh my god. Oh lord. He coming? Oh lord. He dying. Oh no. Punch combo. 46%. He lands it. Is it enough? It is. It's exactly enough. Oh my god. Oh lord. Oh lordy lordy. He hits it. God damn. Barely enough damage. Barely enough damage. But it's enough. Going in to game five. Look at this. Clap attack at 60%. Misses that one. But not going to do any damage even if it lands. Completely inconsequential. It hits the leaf cutter. A little bit of damage. One, two, straight at 67. Hits it. Wow, 400 on the crit. And the Jill combo, GG's. 902 damage, no crit necessary. That extra HP keeps paying off. Yeah, sometimes not going max power is kind of a good call. It is matchup dependent, but it's helping him there. Uh, okay, so Olad wins that one. 3-2. Junimul 2 and Chimpan A. I hate every chimp I see. Chimpanzee to chimpanzee. Oh, you finally made a monkey out of me. Oh my god, I was wrong. I was, fuck, that's so good, man. I love The Simpsons. How late are you? We're about halfway through Winner's Round 1. You've missed, you're an hour late. Okay, here we go. Prediction is live. Make your bets. Dr. Zayas, Dr. Zayas. Can I play the piano anymore? Well, of course you can. Well, it couldn't before. Do -do 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 A mega mole, if you will. Big banana. Decent damage, not a lot of withering though. Good mole with a 30 guts lead now. Wave riding, sitting at 44%. Kind of spooky. Hits the belly attack instead. He's like, I'm playing it safe. Sneezing. Tis the season for the sneezing. It's there's the belly attack. Miss Junimul in the yellow. Big Banana will finish him off at this point. 
Blast hits the blast! There's the grit. Not out of it yet. Chimpanzee still has the guts lead. Looks like Chimpanzee is blasting off again. Hits the sneeze. Four attacks, four landed attacks. He's just giving him a little smooch on the forehead. Look at that. Look at that. He's getting a little smoochy. Now he's... I don't know what he's doing now. I don't... That's BM. Won't be doing that. Make like a banana and leaf. Make like a tree and get the fuck out of here. This is the blast at 41%. Chimpanzee finally missing. There's the wave riding. The wave riding. Misses the wave riding. Does 170 damage to himself. The grit emote is killing you. This I knew. Yeah, it is, Nick. Yeah, Mads made that. It's the sneeze. The mold does not like being withered. Two in a row? Sneezing on him. Misses it, though. What do we got? We got wave riding? We got a wave riding. I called it. I fucking called it. I always call it. How am I so fucking good at this? Oh my god. Let's go. So. One all going into game three. Big banana. Same opener as always, Juno with the 30 gets lead. You do a lot of work with this. Wave riding 44%, but it's going to miss. 300 damage to himself. Oh my god. Into the boomerang. Misses. Fun fact about ape that you might not know every ape has a different colored banana. And this ape has a sticker on its banana. Rock ape has a green banana, for example. This one's got the Del Monte sticker on it. Black hits. No damage, though. Still did 15. Black's a pretty strong attack. Scratch lands. 355. Two in a row. Two crits in a row. Chimpan A's still in there, but he's losing now. There's a boomerang at 66%. It misses Junamool. Ready to steal this. Another boomerang. He's trying his best. He hits it. Chimpan A. The grit doesn't matter. Chimpan A is going to take that one. 2-1 going into game four. Okay, another banana opener? No, banana opener. Well, different kind of banana opener. That's the Chiquita Gambit. There's the knocking up misses in range for wave riding. Backs up. King Ape got the drip. I love the little man flexing on his back. It's the headbutt. Oh my god, the crit headbutt for 500. Two in a row? No, he backs off. Big banana, 68%. Misses it. Oh, that's terrible. Well, I attack 59. That'll do it. Doing a mool. Bring it to game five. A lot of game fives lately. After almost none for the first bit. Donkey Kong Country 1 boss banana. Yeah. No Nintendo sticker on it, though. Misses the blast. So funny for a while, King Ape was a Mirage monster in the community. Yeah, you literally can't get him in Monster Rancher 2. Or like you have like a five year period to fight him in Monster Rancher 2, and then he's locked forever. Belly attack lands. Oh my god, that did so much damage on the crit. Got to correction. Helping out Junamool there. Yeah, it's a, that's a 3 2 for the whale. Chimpanzee doing his best. Missing a couple of important texts though. Blitz Gal and my favorite name of the entire tournament, Hopakio. Hopakio. There we go. 
We got a Springer. Yeah, prediction is live. Make your bets. His third local tournament. Hell yeah. So he won three in a row? Is that what you're saying? Springer is a pretty fun monster. Are those ships in the background or just birds? 91 track record with only lost to a ripper? That's pretty funny. You know, there's very easy ways to build against the hopper. Like, <laughs> if you build a tank, they struggle. It's the flame. Let's go. Gonna take game one. Game two. She's just swinging. Sometimes it works. You know, sometimes it all it takes. So happy to have won at least one match. Well, I mean, you you made the build, you know. The flick miss at 61. Flick combo 54. That's gonna miss as well. Glitzgal with the 70 guts lead. Oh no. I feel that Hopper would be better as a tank, easier to train too. Hopper makes pretty good tank, but it also is just generally good as a speed monster. I mean, good as in like. It doesn't lose anything by being a speed monster instead of a tank. Lightning to finish it off. Giga Ray, that's kind of risky. This is that. Apakio with a 70 guts lead. Rapid Flick, not going to kill, but we can do decent damage. No crit necessary. Has enough guts to attack again. A crit will kill. Goes for the flick. Two flicks with one crit will win it. The jab, not going to be enough without a crit. 119, it barely wins it for him. Apakio wins. Number two. Opera tank sounds like a bad idea. I wonder if anyone's ever done that. It's a great success. The jab. Lightning miss had 64%. Into the Giga Ray. Pacquiao with a pretty big guts lead though. Still big damage, 500. With the crit. Jab at 63, misses. A lot of guts saved up though. A lot of guts of Roonies. Misses the flick. Mapakio. Hits the flick that time, 181. Jab at 55. Misses. Pushes Glitz further back. Really wants to try and stay up close if it can. Hits the flick there for the crit. 200 damage. Lightning at 68. That's going to be enough to kill. There's the grit though. It's not over. Glitz Gal in slot 4, so has only its inaccurate text to try and finish him off. But if they walk all the way forward, Kick can do it. Hook at 189, not enough. Both monsters can attack. Who's going to go first? Lightning at 65. Wow, it's almost as if the AI knew what it needed to do. Six. Sorry, six. Six wins. It's 2-1 for the Pixie. Going into game three. This is the flick at 60%. Flick combo 53. Oh my god, he can't land anything. Just came back from a bath. I'm sorry to hear that. Dodging everything. 1 2 jump low 34%. Let's gal with a 97 guts lead. Bang will kill. 50 50 on it. It misses. Flick at 56. Misses again. Let's gal still with the 60 guts lead. Goes for another bang. 45% chance to hit. Misses again. Pretty even in guts. Misses the flick. <laughs> we got 16 seconds left on the clock. Nobody's landed anything. We're gonna see a pat win. Bolt. Bolt for the win, maybe. Bang at 40%. Gonna help run down the clock a little bit. Misses again. hapakio has got a shot at this. Anything it lands will win it. Game. Flick at 64. Oh my god. 
Oh no. Wow. What are the chances of that? Someone do the math on that. Somebody watch that back and let me know, because I don't want to watch that back. Dehumanized. Jim Beasy. That was brutal. It was brutal. Thank you, Jacques. Helix Forest. Okay, you guys want to see crazy build? Oh no, it would have helped if I didn't put the wrong X in. That's right. We got a power plant and a power mock. Who is the stronger woodland being? Who can lift more? Who can bench press more? Power plant versus power mock. Power plant at least has some options. Mock took the term using your head too literally. He has to play a tank round one. He does have to play a tank round one. So that's how she goes sometimes, Macho. On the plus side, he's not going to miss anything. So. Leaf gun, hell yeah, good opener. Hell yeah, I can only go uphill from here. Plank combo, 41% misses. It's the headbutt. And get some damage on the board. How much? 186. Another one. 248 on the crit. Procs the anger, though. Root attack at 75. A little bit of damage, a little bit of withering. Base drill at 62. With, I think anger was still active, but it misses there. Elix Force in a pretty good spot. Needs to not use that leaf gun, though. JP, make this mock. No macho did. There's no loser of 14 on loser's bracket. Is Hot Pack yeah, eliminated? There is a loser of 14. He's uh, in match 58. Headbutt, will it be enough? It will be enough. He's gonna win. He's gonna beat the tank. realize it's called Elix Forest because the headbutt, yeah. Macho playing the JP game. Well, if that's the case, he's going to get second today. Since this is not the best guts rate plant, do you think it would be better to go with speed? Brother, I do not have any technical analysis for this specific matchup. This is just throwing shit at the wall and seeing what works. I do like that this plant, uh, there's a lot of different plants that have different, um, like, leaf shapes. Like, the mono plant has rectangular ones, you know, to look like a mono. This one has really long, slender ones that look like hare's ears. They're a completely different shape than the regular plant leaves. Kind of cool. Another leaf gun. For one damage. Ooh, jab for 110. My combo misses. Elix Forest needs to get in there. He needs to start using his head. Oh, he hits it. He's been watching some PB and J Otter doing the noodle dance, but the plant combo is going to win it. On a KO, even. One all. Like you saw with his noodle arms? Yeah. So, anyway, he started blasting. Exactly. His headbutt is doing damage. Mine went headbutt crazy and only just woke himself up. Last match, yeah. The root attacks. Base drill 56. Lands it, but Elix Force has a big guts. They said it has almost no damage. He can roll down headbutts here. A couple of crits would do him good. Watch the slap. Leaf gun, not what he wants. Oh, do we see some leaf gun spam? We might. Two in a row. That's 20 guts down the drain. 24, I should say. Plant combo lands. Is it enough? It's enough. Humanized. Gonna win game number 
the 2 1 for the power tank plant. I know you don't know everything, just trying to start a discussion. I think if you're running a tank on plant, you kind of need to go with the fast guts rate. But I mean, that's kind of the same as every monster. You want to go with the fastest guts rate you can if you're running a tank. Headbutt, gonna do a little bit of damage, a little bitty bit of damage, and he pushes him away! Oh no, that's not using your head, brother. Root combo's gonna miss at 71, that move always misses, I don't know why. Base drill at 56, it's gonna miss as well. Headbutt from 70 guts, can he roll him down? Does one. You know. This really is Macho's fault. It's the jab. This is that one. Felix Forrest still has it in him to win this. We get a hurry on Dehumanized. Felix Forrest still losing. There's the anger. And the root attack. Can give him a little bonk. Dehumanized wins that one. 3 1. You knew what you were getting into. You won a game. Came very close to winning the whole set, to be honest. This head just hurts from using the one headbutt. Instant migraines. Do you vape in hot chick hell? Wait a minute. Oh, it's spelled differently, right? There we go. There we are. Okay, so plant wins that one. Prediction is live. Who do you like here? We got a power pixie. We do indeed. Mm -mm. Hotchick Hell Top 10. Well, I mean, Hotchick Heaven is up there too, you know? It's about the size of a normal human mother. Was Head Pat's gonna do numbers? They might. Misses it though. Hits that one. Yeah, this is the pixie that starts with the crossover text. So it has a uh, 1 2 punch and Phantom Claw. I don't know if it also has Death Final. The triple slap. That'll do it. Monk the monkey with the hot chick power. Another monkey with the drip. You know, he's got the moustache. He's got the makeup. No, it doesn't have uh, the other guy. Whatever you call it. Oh, oops. My bad. Indigo Eternal, thank you for the follow. And that painting, I forget if I s said thank you, but I do appreciate it. No grit though? Oh boy. Crab throw 38%, it's gonna miss Hot Chick Hell. We got no grits in this matchup then. The slap. So a kill is just a straight up kill here. Hot Chick Hell wins game number two. Going back and forth. Okay, game three. Full assault, 42%. Good opener, 600 damage. Gets real immediately. Oh no, this could be bad for him. Or it could be very good. No hard to say. Grab throw at 36%. It misses. He is boned. He is big, big boned. Apartment style, GG's. 999 damage. 44 guts down. Box him right on the head. Crushes his skull. Sends him back to the Stone Age. That real wearing off, not doing well for him. Misses the heal raid, 39%. Go short again. 
I don't think you realize the situation that led you to winning with Healer Raid last time. There's a 99 Guts lead, and your opponent having no, uh, having a real worn off. Not paying attention, how you know. Slap at 61. Ooh, it misses, though. Could have done big damage. Anthem Claw could be good here. Thwack at 53. Misses. It's the Phantom Claw. 277. Roll Salt at 40. This is that one. Achikel, one big hit away from winning this. 1-2 Punch will do it. 70% chance. That is a 3-1 for the Pixie. Pixie wins. Multiball. We've got Blorm and no added sugar up next. Hell yeah, worm time. Oh my god, Patch put in a... This is Patch's monster? Okay. So, again, 800 life, 900 power. Taking 800... Taking 100 power from here and putting it into life. Not too bad. Uh... Me... That to the pixie. You guys bet wrong on that one. Okay, start a prediction. Who do you like here? I love Drill Tusk. Just like my boy Borton. We could have had Power Mock versus Power Pixie. We could have. But we did not. Too late, you're going to bet on Pixie. It seems like you're very, very late coming into this. Are you, like, five minutes behind, Matt Moore? We need more Blorm license plates. My worm is also named Blorm. Betting the farm on that worm. We got worm fans. Wheel attack! Good if it can crit, but it misses. Misses the diving press. No Kirimomi on this worm, though. No Kirimomi on any worm in Monster Rancher 2. It's very unfortunate. You guys don't know, I put up the Psycho Crusher video today, i.e. Uh, Dragula 5000 Part 3. You guys want to see how that saga ends. Headbutt's going to miss at 48. Roll attack misses as well. Worm hits him with a little sting. 167. Really likes that headbutt. Salty Knock is the pixie one where you're gonna bet on it. Oh, I feel what you're saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You would have won two times your bet. Or three times your bet. It's the bite. 300 damage. No sugar added in the yellow. It needs to dodge this, and it doesn't. Lorem's gonna take game one. It's the wheel attack opener. Ritz, do I know my damage rolls or not? Jesus Christ. I am so sick. Needs the crit to get the KO. What did I say? So Blorm's up 2-0 now. Slap lands, 107 damage. Thumbersault at 72. Lands at 383, just under half of Lattie Trigger's health. Lands the pinch throw, though. GG's. Blorm with a quick 3 0. Got the suplex. Critter dead. Fan favorite Critter dead up next. 10th seed overall. And Sakura Fart, which I assume is the same monster we just saw. I'm like the 900th person to name a monster this. this is, I'd be very surprised if there's only one monster named Sakura Fart. Maybe the others don't have mine. 3300. Oh, under the cap. Interesting. 
So we just saw one Mochi fight, one mana. Mana number two. Prediction is live. Make your bets. Pretty different build than the last one we just saw. More power, big defense, a little bit less skill. The spreading legs thing. Spreading legs thing is fine. You guys are weird. Oven Worm gets the zoomies. You all know who you're betting on? I guess we do. Frost at 31%? Misses. Hopper squinty eyes are weird, yeah. Because it's like his pupils are getting smaller. It's not like his eyelids are changing. It looks like his pupil is like physically changing shape. Slash claws. Mine is focusing so much on the censored names, the doc has consumed me. He just wanted an excuse to write slur. That's all that means. I'm just joking. A double one two thrust. Hip pap, but crit or dead in a pretty good spot right now. Drill claw will win it. 397. There's the grit though. I lied. Double palmer. Double pounder, you mean? It's double palmer. It's like two Arnold Palmers. A slap, it misses. One second left. Thrust, it won't do enough damage, even if it hits. Sakura Park loses game one. Crit or dead? Going into game two, here we go. It's the turn claws. Decent damage there. Don't you pixie name Laura Palmer? Oh my god. Considering it would die like in every fight, that'd be pretty good too. The veteran. The veteran would be a good name for a monster. Oh my god. The foolery into the turning claws. There's another grit. Oh snake, how you doing? And but a 46 misses that one. Learn from E-Honda. I don't know if there's a game that E-Honda's ever been as low tier in as Mochi is in Monster Rancher 2, though. Did not learn well. It's like the Dan. It's like E-Honda's Dan. This is the press. Press at 46, misses it anyway. Critter dead. Up 2-0. She tried, she's trying. Good crit there on Drill Claw. Half the Sakura parts. Health. Doing her best? Unironically, yes. Unironically, yes. Claw combo, this will probably kill. Maybe not. Oh, yeah, that's right. She had a lot of guts saved up, so she's still in it. Diving press to 34%. This is that one. Another Drill Claw, though. Does she grit for a third time? No third grit. Critter Dead wins that one 3 0. We got Slam Duckin'. Black Batty up next. Black Biotti. Alt House is B-Clon. Oh, we got a Jagger Knot. Hell yeah. You failed? That's alright. It's not over yet. You're in loser's bracket, so you still get to fight again. These names almost go together. It's like very close, but it's like just off enough that like it doesn't work. Yeah, predictions. Predictions live. Make your bets.
Also, Critter Dead is like a very strong monster. It's done very well in uh, tournaments without uh, without any restrictions on breeds. Whoa, Black Betty. Slam a lamb. Black Betty had a duck. Slam a lamb. Little thing was fucked. Slam a lamb. Rolling bomb hits it. A little bit of damage there. Is the vigor into the explosion? <laughs> Holy fuck! This duck is swinging. I love it. It's the flutter slap. A little bit of damage there. Just swung the explosion. Only did 80 damage to himself. You got to see a uh, anger from the slam Duncan. I think. I think he needs to get some anger. Does he have anger? Is he good natured? I don't know. Bound charge. Good damage there. Oh, it ties it up. Slam Duncan winning by 5 life. Horn Smash is going to land. I'm going to do some decent damage. Crits for 366. And needed the crit to kill, and he got it. What does Vigor do? If you are the first monster to learn, land an attack, and your monster has Vigor, they have a chance to proc it, and it makes them move around the arena faster. Almost entirely useless in PvP. In AI versus AI, I should say. It's It's got more use in PvP because you have more control over spacing and stuff like that but uh in ai versus ai it basically exists just to give your opponent the ability to proc fury because fury requires your opponent to have a battle special active crit to proc sorry there's the fury speak of the devil fury bound fury anything slam duck oh wow that ran out super quick maybe punch is gonna land six damage there's the anger though Flutter Slap, misses it. Bounce Stamp right now would be great. Explosion at 32. This is only does 40 damage to himself. He still has a lot of guts. Let's hit with the Horn Strike, he's still in it. Another Explosion, he's gotta land one. 974 damage, Slam Duck and wins game number two. Jesus. Good God. I just want an Explosion land, there it is. You know, it's a big damage. That move does has 50 force and 50 60 force and 50 withering or something like that, right? Ooh, hits the bound, big damage. Maximal punch gonna land. Ooh, crits. Needed that crit to keep him in the game. Like bound 63. Bound only has like 10 force. It's like essentially a basic tech. But it's pretty accurate. Rolling bomb is gonna land. How much damage? Crits for 232. Black Betty. Up 2 1. 1 out of 330s. Math checks out. That's how it works. 2 1 for Black Betty. Hits another rolling bomb frame 1. No vigor this time. Huge guts lead for Slam Duckin. It's the Flutter Slap. A little bit of damage, a little bit of withering. Procs Anger. Oh, bad time to get Anger. This is where Flutter Slap actually kind of works. But, you know, Bound Charge or something would still be better. Hits the Horn Smash. That's going to do a ton of withering. The Black Betty took that back. He loves using Horn Smash with Anger. It's another Bound Crits for 269. Wow. Slam Duckin at a pretty nice amount of health. It's going to be hard for Black Betty to kill with, like, one attack. It's the Flutter Slap. It's not enough. Black Betty with three life left. This is that Flutter Slap. They both got 35 guts. Who's going to attack first? Beak Thrust to finish it off. Bound will do it as well. Goes for it at 61. It hits. We see a Grit. No Grit. Slam Duckin bringing this to a game five. Game five. Here we go. Horn Smash opener. Minus 30 guts. Bounce Stamp. First Bounce Stamp we've seen. It lands. Crits for 874. You cannot run a Power Duckin without Bounce Stamp. It is the reason you use it. Goddamn. Big damage. The Duck wins. 3-2. And now, it's time to get Salty. 
it's time for Barfala. He's struggling to be the Duck Dodger. He's in the wrong century, that's the problem. Uh, Nijimaru. Oh shit, I gotta fight a tank worm? I gotta fight a tank worm with my pixie? Oh my god. Oh, this is Goat's Monster. Oh no. Okay, um... So that went to the duck. Quack attack. Here we go. Predictions live. Make your bets. Oh, I really want to see my monster win a couple of times, but I did make, like, the literal worst monster, so... I can do it. I'm just, you know, any win is gravy for me. Big chips on Nijimaru. What are the... What's it looking like? 20k. Well. You can do it. Let's go. Flame at 99%. That's the one thing to look out for, though. That's big damage. But Barfala does not have the guts rate of other pixies. So it's barely going to be able to get off two. Two lashes hits. How much damage are we looking at? 370, and that withering is pretty powerful. Goes for it again. Hits the single tail lash. Barfala doesn't proc power. Doesn't do anything. Goes for the pats! Falls got a chance, but it's gonna waste it on dumb tax. Hits the bite. Is that it? Nijimaru wins game one. It's so bad, man. It's such a bad guts rate. Uh, it's really funny though. Why has the worm got a faster guts rate than me, you know? Just for the pat. Good call. Bolt, also not a good call. Crits for 117 damage and procs anger. Oh my god, just worst case scenario. <laughs> Holy fuck, they did so much withering too. Uh, he gets the grit, but at what cost? Pinch throw, misses. Nijimaru finally misses an attack. Sting at 55, that's gonna land Nijimaru up 2-0. He's land missed one attack so far. Oh no. Oh no. Game three, here we go. Don't get swept. Crits. See some crits. Bolt, not gonna be enough. 100 damage even. Somersaults at 72? Oh, I'll take that. That's a good miss for me. I'm definitely not biased. Pierce throw? Hits at 41 though. Fuck. A big damage on that. 400 damage in flame range though. Oh, there's the grit. Barfala needs to attack with anything. That's correction not enough to shift the gut hit rate. It does, like a little bit, but like not that much. Pinch throw at 41. So is my monster just not going to attack? Grit. Ah, he had a shot, but you got 3 0'd. That was uh, that was pretty sad. Just had to attack with anything and decided against it. Nuclear is up next. Nuclear is a plant, a power plant. Get the name, you get it. GG's GOAT, that was a fun match. Nuclear and... Rem's the... Christian? Is it Christian? Is that the name? There's, uh... There's a lot going on in this name. By Squilliam. The Squilliam? Thought we were going to see the Pat win. Did I give it a zero luck stat? Um, I don't know. It's very hard to win. I dodged two attacks in that set. Very hard to win when you're using a real bad monster and you also don't dodge or attack. The no attacking has a lot to do with the extremely slow guts rate, though. Okay, prediction is live for this. See you in losers. I got to fight you. Oh, I guess I gotta actually... 
Oh, so who do I gotta fight? Oh, I don't know. I gotta fight the loser of 38. I gotta fight the loser of... Tom Yeti and Fergie. Oh, God. Those are both good monsters. I'm gonna get fucked up. Gotta fight that worm now. Didn't know Squilliam ranched monsters. It's the Squilliam. Base drill lands. Big damage a Rooney there to start things off. What we got? It's the charge. Nuclear is a tank. I'm gonna get hit by everything. In theory, at least. Slap hits, not enough to kill, but one more will do it. Oh, it gets the power. Dodges that one. A couple of good attacks up, but just keeps slapping. Doesn't give him a chance. There's the grit. 94 to 6 on this. You guys like the power plant in this one. Plant is so dreamy. <laughs> Those little eyeballs, you know? Okay. Plant combo, 49%. This guy's not dodging a lot. There's the power proc immediately, though. Diving Claw with power? Could be big. 447 still has enough guts. Can attack with power again if it wants. Power bite? This might do it. 670. Needed the crit, but he got it. Spot Saurian's gonna take game number two. Game three. Here we go. Diving Claw opener. Crit there for 283. Nuclear with a 30 guts lead after that. It's the charge. 160 damage, minus 14 guts. Nuclear with a massive lead. Base drill, 78%. It's just my kill. Ooh, very close. I really noticed the plant's leaves until you set up, but this one's got little pixie wings. Yeah. They're pretty cool. Like, it's not just the colorway, but like the shape is actually different on all of them. It's the plant combo. That's going to be a 3 0 for nuclear. Back to back 3 0s. Baron Fluffo is up next. Israel really hits a lot harder than you would expect. It's it's not actually its strongest power tech. I don't I'm pretty sure plant combo is stronger, but it's much, much more inaccurate. So base drill ends up being like your main damage source. This is detonate. Oh, we got another duckin'. Got another explosion duckin'. It's 2-1. Zoom. Oh, it's only 2-1. Sorry, my bad. My bad. We'll forfeit. My bad. I can't. I'm trying to forfeit. I'm trying to quit. Plus, round two on the power proc. That's correct. You did lose on the power proc. Okay, well, I paid that out early. I'm going to look real dumb if Nuclear doesn't win this, so I'm hoping Nuclear wins it. No, I haven't paid out yet. I didn't pay out yet, don't worry about it. But we're still good. Ooh, charge opener, a little bit of damage there. Root combo with the anger, gonna do decent damage and withering. Ooh, plant combo. Well, there's the game three. Okay. So. Doesn't change anything. Video bomb, thank you for the follow. Okay, uh, 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 uh. Oops. So, back to what we were doing. Baron Fluffo. Barn.
Daytona. Okay. Prediction is live. Who do you like here? We got more power duckins. Another intelligence Jill. Second intelligence Jill of the night. Want to see explosion? I think you're going to see explosion. He didn't bust out. That's nice. Yeah, that would have been uh, that would have been a rough one. I feel like it was a pretty good matchup for the plant. Sunstorm 57 he walks right up, goes for the slap, trying to send a message because he's definitely not going to be doing damage with it. Explosion at 27. Double slap, almost not a. Baron Fluffo kind of has to hope for detonate to just miss explosion. I think that's the play. Wow, the crit bound charge, big damage there. Detonate now, like any attack to win. Well, Breath at 65 is going to miss it as well. Detonate with a huge guts lead. Explosion. Just like that, Baron Fluffo's back in it. Bound charge at 63, lands it. No grit, detonate is going to win game one. Love the videos, too bad you suck at this game. I mean, we all sucked when we started, you know? But thank you for that, appreciate it. No storm opener. Big damage, big withering. Going down about 30 guts against your opponent isn't too big of a deal if you can like get that much of a life advantage. Because they're gonna have to spend guts to hit you back, you know? Ice spikes can finish it off. Most likely. It's it. 305. Baron Fluffo going to take game at number two. Game three, here we go. Insides are eyes, yep. Got little eyeballs. And he's got little spring legs, too. I really like Tekken. It's a fun monster. This is the Flutter Slap. Explosion does 700 damage to himself. Here comes the ice spikes. 650. Saying, I will match the damage. Baron Fluffo wins game number three. Eyes in the center of the duckin'. They're all in the duckin'. I can't remember if it's 50 force and 60 self damage. I think that's what it is. Well, that's a good crit. Baron Fluffo wins that one. 3-1. Blix and Mallow up next. I forget if I... God. Um... These are all legal, so it's hard to say. Definitely not that. Not that. Gotta be the last one. Gotta be Magnet Man. Too bad the eye is the weakest part of the duckin'. Many people are saying this. More worm action. We got a white mochi. Intelligence mochi near the end. Prediction is live. Make your bets. Wish duckin' had more subs. Me too. Nice catch, Blanco Nino. When I first played this game, I thought it was hot shit when my monsters lived four years. Sucking happens to everyone. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Wasn't he painting himself? He was, and then they changed it. It's now a white breed of mochi and not a mochi painting himself white. It even The card's different, too. The card text. Okay, here we go. Flame. Goes for the flame. A big move. Misses it though. Sting at 54 or 45, I should say. I'm dyslexic, I suppose. Misses the sting that time. Two lashes are going to miss at 
Mochi Ray gonna miss at 65. That was a Berenstain Bears moment? No, it's different. Remember the white po Mochi painting itself on the card and not looking at a butterfly? Yeah, I, I just explained that. <laughs> Flame at 39, it lands 790 damage. Is that the only text it has? Wow. So it's really banking on that flame, man. Eh? Has some racy implications, yeah, but I don't think anybody's worried about white face, you know? 200 damage. Malo wins game one. The low skill on flicks is hurting him a little bit, I think. Oops. Missed the flame at 38. Sting miss at 44. Imagine eating a piece of mochi covered in paint. What's it, paint and drink and Pete from The Simpsons? Some salt lands 57. That's big damage. He's almost entirely banking on landing that flame and nothing else. Maybe they just really hate that white chicks movie and don't want to be reminded. That's fair. Ooh, big damage. Pale Ash can do big damage there. This is at that time. Still in it. Ooh. So, yeah, he's got the Mochi, right? That's right. Slap is going to hit. Not enough. So, Worm goes up 2-1. Yeah, I think uh, betting on the 36% flame is not really... I think Mochi struggles, you know? This is a hard road to hoe, you know? This is the Detail Ash too. Andrew the Nerd! Thank you for the sub, I appreciate that. Thank you. And nobody can land anything. Did your monster lose? Which is your monster? Slap hits, a little bit of damage. Do you vape? I think do you vape lost. Yeah, I lost to Hot Chick Hell. 3 1. is going to miss. I cannot believe that's how it forces a game 5. Cannot believe that's how it forces a game 5. That 700 skill hurting the worm a little bit there. It's a game we play, folks. Somersault's going to miss at 51%. Licking is going to land. No, it's not going to land. I don't know what I'm saying. I'm just saying random words. Flame of 40%. That still misses, though. It's a slap. The bite misses. Mallow's in the lead. It won once doing this. Mochiri would give it a good uh, buffer, but misses that as well. Tail Ash at 58. Ooh. Licks force and Mallow to use some intelligence attacks now. Looking at 37, it lands it. A little bit of damage, but not nearly enough. Like, still in the lead. Mochi still needs to land one more intelligence tech, which, you know, isn't too big of a deal, except for the fact it doesn't want to use them at all. Damn, it needs to land that flame now. Headbutt not going to do it. He needs to back up. He needs to hope his opponent backs up. Almost. He's almost there. He's almost there. He goes for another headbutt. So, Flix is going to win that one 3-2. Spittoon and Harambe up next. We're making Harambe jokes in the year 2022 still. Spittoon's a good name for a Vajaro, that's a good name.
That looks... That's wrong. wrong. That's over. Oh, no, that's... Is that it? Yeah, that's it. I think it's this one. Is that the only Bajaro? Yes, it is, as far as I know. That's your monkey Harambe? Okay. Uh, 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 so, the worm wins that one. Prediction is live for this. We have one more match after this, and then we're done. Round one winners. We'll move on to round two winners. We'll start doing losers and stuff tomorrow. Okay. Right jab or jibby jab. Any breed not represented? Nithon? Um What else haven't we seen? Nithon's the one that's like obvious to me. I don't know if there's others we've missed. the flak, big damage there. Harambe in the lead. What? There's power, so Splatoon's basically got to force himself to lose this at this point. Loki's surprised no one... Yeah, no Nithon said? Yeah, me too. I'm really surprised. I think Nithon would probably clean up this. Nithon has a lot of great matchups against the best low-tier monsters. But Jarl does too, actually. But Jarl loses to fast guts rate monsters that, like, do decent amounts of damage. Stuff like Naga, obviously, because everyone loses to Naga, but then um, he has a lot of trouble against Undine. He has a lot of trouble against Tiger. Oh my god, the power 1-2 uppercut miss at 99%? That's so unfortunate for Spittoon. Look how much damage Hook did. Send Hook. Comes the bomb, not going to do any damage, but it'll do a little bit of withering at least. for the roll assault misses at 32% Spittoon with a big lead what's he gonna do another hook he's just sending them. just sending them I was looking at fast guts rate mons too to make a tank and I already made frisbee so I went with plant instead I would have made a tank night on ooh misses Slap's gonna land. A little bit of damage there. Leave her on the alone, he's already dead. He's gonna die a second time. Die 1,000 deaths. The hook lands. So is that. That's 3 0, right? That's a 3 0. I don't wanna like. move on if it's not a 3 0, but I'm pretty sure it's a 3 0. Rompe never truly dies. Well, except for the fact that he did. And then he did again right now. God. I really fucking hate stream elements. What a stupid system for labels and stuff. Uh, Mr. Hall, thank you for the gift sub. There you go, Monsieur finally showed Aldo up. Monsieur, I have 345 gifted a tier 1 sub to AB 2700. This 2700. is their first gift sub in the channel. <laughs> Why does it say that? Why does it proc the, the voice to text for that? Thank you so much, really appreciate that. The channel. Uh, Eau de Toilette versus Absolute Bunker. Got some francophone. Love the new hair. That's just because it's um, very, very humid. And this is my hair does like a middle part when it's humid, and I don't brush it before I go to bed. Ah, 
absolute. Oh my god, I can't spell anything. I want to play video games. Hey, and the sub. Wow, a gift sub before he even subs himself. What a champ. Thank you, man. Really appreciate that. Absolute bunker. He's gonna go for the big bunk. With all the toilet where he belongs. I kind of lost the accent in the last one there, but I'll tell anyone. You heard nothing. Okay. Zoe de Chanel. De Chanel. Oh, the Toilette's a good name for uh, Gigapint. Gigapint's a really good name normally. Like, that's one of the best uh, monster names, I think, in the game. I put chips on the Rocklon. The Rocklon without Earthquake seems very strange, but I mean, Earthquake is fucking terrible. Does he just have the basics? Oh my god. I I absolutely thought he was gonna have horn smash. Oh he's got the uh, horn he's got horn strike and horn attack. So he's got a horn attack. Horn attack's a great tech. Pack pack. Hit them with the pack pack. 460. Oh, there's a foul win though? God dang. The Minecraft Beetle? Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Oh, man. It's the Horn Strike. It's enough because of the crit. Absolute bunker. Bonks is away to the game win. There might be some regret on your bet. Uh, after seeing that? I don't know, man. Did pretty well. There's a couple of monsters that can run just like basics builds that are really good. Um, I think Beaklon's, especially Rocklon's slow guts rate is gonna hurt him a lot with this otherwise, but you know, got a lot of good techs in slot one. Dust Cloud misses. Another punch. Uno mas. Misses it though. He can keep swinging. Wow. Absolute bonker just kind of pushed the Oda Toilette to the wall. It's not letting him get out of range of those power attacks. Another Dust Cloud misses. Absolute bonker. This is his game to lose. And he's trying his hardest to lose it right now. This is the roar. Absolute bonker. Probably going to go up two games. Oh, the foolery? Goes for the punch anyway. Naga with just basics? That sounds terrible. Misses the nap. And imagine if you could crit nap. This is the punch. He hits it. There's the grits. He doesn't even die. He can't even die. But absolute bonker wins game number two. It's a good strategy. Don't let the intelligence tax come out. Stuff like that makes uh, PvP fun. But like, I don't think it's a particularly good game for like PvP. I, I feel like it's very, very toxic as like a game. It's very easy to just get like Oh, I missed the 99? Well, fuck this. Whereas with this, it's like, oh no. My stupid child is doing dumb things. It's very different. Crit nap makes them sleep so hard they die in their sleep. No, you know what a crit nap is? A crit nap is when you, like, sleep. You go to bed early, and you still wake up late, and you feel like absolute shit. They're like, I'm gonna go to bed early and fix my sleep schedule. And then you sleep until, like, noon or whatever you were trying to fix, and you're like, wow. I slept for 12 hours, and now my brain is not functioning. The cursed nap, exactly. Another horn strike. Just can't get out of slot one, eh? Too much of a big boy. The double grit, though. Pushes him back. Foul wind. Foul wind could do it. But, uh, you know, you got three, te three slots with intelligence techs, and you attacked maybe four times. Unfortunate. Absolute bonker. Gonna win that one 3-0. So that's it for round one winners. We're gonna move on to round two winners. Who do we got up next? Stormfly and DeMille. So there's still a lot of monsters we haven't seen yet.
And like I said um, yesterday, we're just going to do as many as we can. Before midnight. And then tomorrow, or if we get to like top 16 winners, I will... Uh, I'll probably stop it there. Depends if we can get it done in two or not. I'll have to take a look and see how much time we actually have. Start a prediction. What do you like? Okay, we got a zoom. And we got the pixie, the intelligence pixie we saw win against Polka, the other intelligence pixie. So this pixie has beaten another pixie to get here. Here we go. Fire charge versus flame, 43 versus 32. Fire charge misses. A bit of a miss. That's gonna miss at 62. There's some back in the bang range. Goes for the big old bang. Hits at 600 damage. Stormfly still hanging out though. Here's the power. It's in a slot with no attacks though. The bolt is gonna land. He got locked out. He got locked out. He couldn't do anything about it. Uber unfortunate. It's a bolt, a little bit of damage there. It's the flame. Like I got flame of my own, but that whiffs as well. Mill back up to 50 guts. Just for another bolt, misses that. Billion bites, miss at 42? Mm-mm-mm. There's a bang. It's the bang, that's enough to kill the mill. 2 Oh, right now, god damn. Knock, knock, open up the door, it's not. <laughs> oh my god. Mill running away with this. If they stay up close, Stormfly's obviously got a very good chance. Missing kick is better than hitting kick for the mill, because it pushes her back into those intelligence stacks. Another bang, 31%. Misses it. Ooh, big damage there. So this is the tail lash. It's another. Goes for the charge. Misses out on the 50 50. Bang at 35. It loves using bang. Loves landing bang. That's going to do it. Just keep landing bang. Just hit forehead. Five head. Mill's going to win that one. 3 0. Oh. Wasn't expecting that. That is Monster Rancher. Add Born and Kambe. I got the. Uh, this is kind of, you know, BM because Mads made the emote. But there is an emote for that. Just hit. Just hit. Okay. So, big payout for the Pixie. For Pixie betters. 5 to 1? Good god. Just hit every bang. She missed like 2, to be fair. Like, she missed 2, but... When you swing it 7 times... That Born and Tom Bay, here we go. It's set to manual, is it? I made mistakes? Okay. Let me get out of this. Five headed Joker, Undine, it is. You know what? This is missing. Just a, uh, like, a history. Like, just go back. I mean, it's missing a lot of things. 
like a lot of really basic things, but I feel like that would be pretty easy to implement. Okay, here we go. 81%. Hits the grab throw opener. Big damage, 500. Map born with two tank monsters back to back. Tank monsters with bad guts rates back to back. Gets real immediately, and there's the power. Oh god, there's the charge. It's enough. And they get grit. It does not. Matt Bourne's going to take it. Game number two. Matt Bourne, if it wins this, will have to fight the mill. So at least it doesn't get to fight three tanks in a row, you know? We saw real power. We did not see Matt Bourne squander that real power. It's the diving press. So that's a guts lead. You can just crits. Just kill the tank in one hit. Who cares? I'd like if you could set a range of stat points and search parameters to narrow it down even more. That'd be nice, yeah. Okay, diving press opener. Good damage, minus 33 guts. He's got a couple options here. Goes for the grab throw, misses it though. And another diving press. Yeah, Matt Bourne with the diving press is very hard to beat. <laughs> very hard to beat as a tank, standing in slot three. Um, who's next? Thin Lizzy and Talon. Doink is undeniable. Is this the, the newest doink? The original one. There's been like four doinks at this point, I think. Okay. You guys bet right on that one, though. That's, that's a hard matchup for that ape to win. Predictions live. But Matt Bourne won't necessarily have as good luck against the mill. It might still just land them. Might still just land in a win. Is it online versus? Sorta. Yeah, it's AI versus AI. But these are all uh, community-raised monsters. This is a low-tier tournament specifically. All of the best monsters were banned. So we get to see some new interesting builds we don't really see too often. Fire Charge misses at 42%. Two jump lows, we got for flick, flick misses, 65%. Rapid flick at 69, hits it. 288, Matt Bourne in my testing has some bad luck against Beast here, so I don't think it's going to be great. I mean, he could win. He could do it. On the rapid flick, 273. Just beat Monster Rancher 3, was a decent time. Hell yeah. I saw in the Discord earlier you were playing it. You had, uh, what do you call it? You had the goat uh, tiger. I think press whiffs, it's always spooky. I guess that's true, it hasn't whiffed yet. It literally has not missed, so we haven't seen it do self damage yet. Talon's gonna take game one. A lot of flicks coming up. Rapid flick, good damage on that. Million claws lands, 324. And this is that one. Flick hits at 62. 60% to win it, lands it. Allen up 2 0. Oh boy. Just started. Monster Entry 3 raising Senorin. Senorin card gauge. <laughs> no probalo. Talon up 2 0. Escrow. Refinancing. Call 188. And call 1555. 555585. Something like that. Or is it 1888555858? I don't know. I don't remember the exact numbers. I think it's 1555555585. 
5555 send your core gauge mortgage today a good phone number he actually holds back when he misses hopper combo yeah he doesn't swing everything Oh, misses the charge. Then Lizzie got his opponent in the yellow. Got him on the ropes. Then Lizzie gonna rope a dope. Nah, he's just gonna get punched right in the face. Not a lot of grits. Talon. Gonna win that one 3 0. Tom Yeti and Fergie up next. Pokemon would be kind of cool like this, it would. But we got Monster Rancher, so. Uh, Fergie, that's right. More hoppers. This one's a tank, though. Got Bloody Eye. Oh, we got the two, the two big boss boys. Two enemy monsters. Got Big Hand, and we got Bloody Eye. Predictions live. Make your bets. Talon is never this lucky when you do simulations. Well, it doesn't matter if he's lucky when you're doing simulations. It only matters if he's lucky when the actual tournament's happening. That's what I'm hoping for the, the Monster Cotion. Angle, hey, how are you doing? Okay, flick combo 56. Pretty expensive opener, especially if it misses, but Fergie's got such an insane guts regeneration rate that he'll be okay. Clap attack, probably a really good move for Fergie to get hit by because he doesn't really care about withering and a good chance to proc anger. Look at that. He's like, I'm just going to take these hits. It's fine. Don't worry about it. I'm up to 70 guts. Double slaps. I'm up to 99. Look at that. Opera combo at 40. Misses still has a guts lead after that. This is the jab. Every monster you test is criminally unlucky. Welcome to my life. Good at Sims and ass in the tourneys. I feel that. Still combo, this will kill. But Fergie just getting slapped. Almost 500 damage. Anchor, no tank. That move's gonna fucking beat your ass. Tom Yeti up 1 0. Not looking so Fergalicious now. No. Oh, I lied. It is. It is looking Fergalicious. Making the boys go loco, you know? Game 3. Very Fergalicious. You know what I miss? I miss Watermelon Bubblicious. Is that still a thing? Can I go get that somewhere? I like never really liked gum. But I love Watermelon Bubblicious. It's like the best flavor. It's double slaps again. Three in a row. Imagine if you combined your monster with Jesus and you got Brennan's voice from Step Brothers. <laughs> oh my god. But he wouldn't be able to die. Flick combo, 63%. He can win it on this. There's the crit. Fergie's gonna win that 2-1. Or he's gonna win his second game. It's not a best of three. It's a best of five. Now on match point, though. Monster always miss everything accurate and hits the 20% nukes. Okay, but there we go. Flick combo, a little bit of damage, a little bit of withering. Tom Yeti. Decent amount of guts in the bank. Jill combo's the play. Like, everything else is kind of whatever. Goes for it. Can do a lot of damage. It will give Fergie a really big guts lead, unless it straight up kills, which it did. Just can't get enough damage up before the Guts lead destroys him. Unless 
Unless he does. In which case, he does. Click combo 56, lands it again. Big, big boys crit there. No power proc, went too straight. I don't think... Does he have, a, like, the 0 to minus 19 for his nature? I haven't seen anger proc, but I haven't seen power proc either. I think it's very hard to get power on big hand. One, two, jump lows, misses at 50. I like, look at that guts regenerate. Look at that, that's stupid. It's the jab. It's not enough to kill, but he can swing it again 61%. There we go. Fergie's going to win that one. 3 1. 3 2. That was a game five. Weird dog and low tier trash up next. This monster just proved that big girls don't cry. <laughs> Oh my god. I I almost don't want to tell the story because like people I know from back home watch me and I don't want this to like get circled around or because like they'll know who I'm talking about. But I I don't know why I remember this. Very very strange that I remember this. But my bus driver um who was my friend's mom uh, that song came on one day on the radio, and I remember her turning off the radio and going, Nope. Not having that today. Not in the mood for that song today. And I don't know why that stuck with me. She was just like, I'm... Like... I, I don't know why. She just seemed <laughs> really, really, like, upset that the song came on. And I was like, damn. I hope you're having a, like, a better day tomorrow, I guess. As a kid, you don't really uh, see adults like display emotion like that very often, like be that like that vulnerable for no reason. And I was just like, "Wow, like, hope you're doing okay." And like, I don't know why that's been stuck in my brain for 20 plus years at this point, or whenever that song came out, 15 years. Predictions live. Make your bets. Weird dog. I always get so sad when I'm good the whole night and in like one or two matches you lose everything you'd won previously. That's how betting works. That's how Mafia work. Dog question mark? This is an Elden Ring enemy. Oh, interesting loadout. Okay. It's got a million bites. The anger. I love Wild Saurian. Angry claw combo misses. Misses the tail lashes too. Tries to twerk on him, but can't do it. The pat's not gonna do anything. Mega Ray, how much damage? A crit might kill. Ooh. 150? Yeah, it would have killed without the crit. Or no, it wouldn't have. It would have been close, but I don't think it would have. It's the flame big ass crit for 5 hundo. It's the lightning, how much damage there? 210, weird dog into the yellow. No anger proc. Really would have liked it, I think. It's the claw. Maybe the worst tech it could have used there. But, you know, decent damage. At almost no cost. So it worked out. Just, like, maybe not the best in general. Hits the tail lashes. That's going to be a KO. Weird Dog's going to win. So that's what... Is that 2-1? Or that's 1-1, one, one, sorry. First game took a while. People think it's a Tenacious D reference. It's clearly a Beast Wars reference. I talked about this before, but uh, there's laws in Canada against uh, promoting war and stuff to children through media. And so Beast Wars here, even though it was made in Canada, it's called Beasties, which is a much funnier name. But it was called Beast Wars for the first couple of months, and then I... Our version, like the Canadian FCC, was like, hey, 
You can't do that. Million claws. Who's the best punching bag? Dinobot die. Pterosaur, sorry, dies like a thousand times. It's the flame. Dinobot dies quite often too. There's a lot of guys in that that just constantly die. I have a pterosaur toy. I think it's missing a leg, so I mean that's canon. This is the bite throw. The animation on bite throw is pretty nice. Waspinator. Doesn't feel so good. It's the pat, a little bit of damage there. Oh, it gets the ease though. 17% bite throw? Holy fuck, it's gonna. Oh my god. That would have done like 3,000 damage and it crit? And too fat to carry gives five subs? So much is happening. Oh my god. 17% nuke hits during ease with a crit. And we get five gift subs at the same time. Right. Oh my god. Anubis is now following. Thank you for the follow. Appreciate that. Rematch. Into game five. Oh my god. Just so much happening. Thank you so much, man. That's very kind of you. Pixie got nuked so hard to create a new universe. It split the timeline in the Moosebone Cinematic Universe. I wanna play video games. My Big life with the sub to that. Oh yeah, sub to the waifu defiler. We've now heard Jacques say waifu defiler, so a lot going on. It's, it's the claw combo, he's gonna do it. Weird dog against all odds. I can't believe he hit the fucking 17% ease beater. God damn. Such a weird dog indeed. The weirdest dog I've ever seen. Nissa and Tigzel Grande up next. It's funny, I always forget when I watch the Japanese streams, because they always happen, like, they're over really quick. And I'm always like, wow, like, how do they manage to, like, run these tournaments so quick? But they run them at two times speed. They run them with the fast forward on. And there's nothing wrong with that, right? But I, I think it's a better viewer experience to have it off. But it does take, obviously, twice as long. Okay, so that goes... Damn, you guys did not like the zoom in that one, eh? Prediction is live. I guess he did need a 17% to win it. It's not as fun with two speed on. It's really hard to commentate. Oh my god, this chair. Real hard to commentate. Could this be dog? Weird dog is a perfect name for a zoom in one sense. Yeah, because he does act very dog-like, you know? Can't really commentate two times speed. You're just like, oh shit, stuff's happening. Takes way longer, but more fun to watch at regular speed. I don't mind doing multi-day tournaments, you know? I try not to let my tournaments go more than a couple of days, though. Unless it's, like, a recurring league or something like that. Because I feel like it it's hard to keep people invested. Other people have tried it. The 33 Earthquake, that's easily going to kill. Um, and that's not to say they've run bad events or anything like that. But I just... I know personally it's, like, it's very hard to keep people invested. So I try to keep things short and sweet as much as I can. This is fucked. Who needs two times speed? Can we go three? Three for three? I almost wanted that to hit. There's the frantic rush. He's like, I have been storing up this pent up frustration. This is my Luigi dash attack. He's like, <laughs> he's like, no, don't worry. I still got Earthquake. I haven't forgotten. It's a double slaps. It crits? Crit double slaps. There's the grit, though. Getting in the pit swinging. It's 
slap combo 53%, it misses. They both got 30-ish guts, takes around 40. Charge at 50. Slap combo, gonna miss again. Pig still has a chance here, has a huge guts lead. Headbutt at 64, that misses as well though. Ran real hard to make this a 3-0. Misses the headbutt. Miss it not getting hit by anything. Frantic Rush misses. Tiggs has enough guts to use Earthquake again. I cannot fucking believe. Anyway, anywho. Toy Box and Mama Uwu up next. We haven't seen Toy Box yet. Here I am saying at the beginning of the tournament that Tiggs won the Grimoire Boat, which was a tournament where you can't really run a lot of speed, so Earthquake is very strong in that format. And here he is just saying, fuck that, I have no other attacks. I, I haven't learned how to land any of my other attacks, I'm just gonna learn, I'm just gonna land Earthquake. Prediction is live, make your bets. It's Monster Rancher, baby, yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. That's a 3 0. No air balloon and monster rancher. No air balloon and monster rancher, indeed. Okay, here we go. Rolling bomb opener, pretty good in this matchup. Goes for it and it misses. Literally a one stat point difference. Yeah, there's a stat cap for this tournament, so most monsters have very similar stat spreads. They're either uh, one or two different speed builds or a tank build. And they usually have 702 life and then 999 power and skill, and then 800 speed. That's like the normal one, and then you'll see people sometimes forgo some power to add more points to life, or some skill to add more points to life. And then uh, defense can be a million different things. Nothing really matters. There's a toy hammer. Just killed a man. Put a hammer on his head. It is squeaking now, he's dead. Mama. Ooh. Rolling bomb. Oh, we got a horn strike. Yeah. Goes for it. I love how you can really tell in uh, DX how shoddily painted um, the duck lawn is. Like, it's like a really shitty coat of paint on wood. On, and this went further than Beats by Dre did, you'll take it. I mean, it's not out yet. It's in Losers. Pulled my hat off of my head. Saw my hammer, now he's dead. Goodbye, everybody. And so on and so forth. More toy hammer crits. God damn, three in a row? The punch misses. I'm with the 99 guts. Combination means to do 59 damage. Goes for the uppercut 5 hundo. Ama's gonna win that one. Small bonk, big damage. A little small bonk in the big city. 2 0 for Mama. Going into game 3. Oh, hits him. Big damage. Yeah, let's see those flexing ghosts in chat. Only bomb hits 66%. Good damage. Pretty even. Mama has a little bit of a lead. Horn attack misses. Another combination. He lands it. I love the fucking axe handle. Just. Ugh. Gets him right in the noggin. Toy box with the grit. He's still in it. Crit rolling bomb can do it. Misses the rolling bomb though. One of the cool things about Rolling Bomb is on Miss, it moves him so far forward. Interesting movement tech there. 
It's the horn strike. It crits. It's enough. Toy box still in it on the very, very delayed grit comeback. Here we go. Game four. Rolling bam. Rolling bam. Then with the rolling bam. Toy hammer, big lead. Misses it though. 46%. Toy hammer's like minus five or something. I don't know why it's so inaccurate. Doesn't make any sense. Apricot's gonna miss as well. B clone with 90 guts. That's terrifying. That's a kill. Got a game five, just like that. I really think if Pokemon moved like this, battles would be so much more fun. You should uh, you should look into Monster Rancher then, man, because the scene is really big right now. It's the biggest it's ever been. I say it's really big. Uh, we got a hundred people watching this nonsense. A lot of fun. There's a lot that goes into it. Like it's not just like raise some stats and then let the monsters fight each other. Like there's so much that goes into like optimal tech loadouts and like choosing how to build and like trying to counter pick in a meta. There's a lot of stuff going on. So like if you like uh, Pokemon, like if you play competitive Pokemon and you're like, I like the team building aspect and all that fun type of stuff, then this game's got a lot of stuff for you. Mama doing big damage. Wins at 3-2. Olaki coming in Junimol up next. Just be okay with losing. You, you gotta be okay with losing, because there's a lot of RNG. <laughs> see some big oo-woos in chat. Let me see your biggest oo-woo ever. Okay. So that goes to the ghosty. The ghosty with the mosty. Predictions alive, who do you like? They're both big boys, they're both speedy boys. Olad with the additional life. A little bit less power. Swinging all day and every night. Just enjoy playing with others as the AI is a cruel master, it really is. You just have to accept that that's the game you play, you know? Jill combo, 41%, it lands! That's a kill. That's a dead whale. But there's the grit! The whales love to grit. It is inborn on them. I... I know for a fact it doesn't... Um... Like, we know how grit works, right? But it really, really seems that monsters that are inborn with grit, grit more often. It might just be confirmation bias. But like, Zilla and Mochi and uh, Centaur seem to like grit all the time. Even though another monster that has a grit has exactly the same chance. As far as we know. Code has been reverse engineered. We know how everything works. But... It does feel like they get grit more often. Chill combo misses. Literally woke up at 3 a.m. and decided to make the ghost for no reason. So glad it's doing some work. It's doing good. Probably didn't have something to say about that. I mean, Arrowhead seems to as well. But I mean, Arrowhead's its own thing. Mach will never grit, and that's a fact. It's true today as well. I don't think we've seen one Mach grit. This is the clap attack. We've seen a couple of ghost grids, and that's what I mean. Confirmation bias is really, really strong, and the more I talk about it, the more I'm like, ah, uh, you know what, maybe, maybe I'm just making things up in my own brain, because percentages and uh, statistics like that are really hard for, like, people to wrap their heads around. I want to play video games. Cheesy. Nine months. Nine months? Nine months? Thank you, Cheesy. Olad loses. He gets the grit, but it's not enough. Need to build up a competitive file at some day. The only tournaments I've done are some casual locals he done for Monster Rancher 4. 
Yeah, for sure. And but miss at 57%. Double slaps. Ooh ha. Does it again. Almost went through a tie with his own wave riding, I know. It's the head butt. The head butt. Big damage there. Still combo 44. Nice. Still combo such a sick deck. 2 1 for Olad. Olad, he losing. Not anymore, he ain't. He's doing good. Okay, here we go. Potential to win it on a single Jill combo. Wave Riding misses. Good damage on himself. Clap attack lands. There's some withering. Keeping Junimo locked out. He's in the yellow. Move my mouse out of the way. Another clap attack. 57% chance to win. Misses it. 1 2 straight. Misses that as well. Headbutt. Ooh, 412. Big damage on that. Puts him below half health. 1 2 straight. 58% misses. Junimal gets out of the way of that. Junimal above 50%. Or 50, 50 guts. Jesus. Knocking up lands. A crit will kill. You know. Crit does kill. On to game five. At about 57. This is that one. A lot of a small 20 guts lead. Goes for punch combo 42. He's going to land it. Will it kill? 720. Ooh. Puts two spins on that. Doing a mole against grit again, though. Clap attack on a 50. 50 lands it. Hold on. He's coming. Wins that one. 3 2. Landed a lot of claps. We got Mango and Glitz Gal. Mango, monster we haven't seen today, but a monster we are all familiar with. Mango, the fan favorite. Versus Glitzgal, who took out Hapakio earlier. One of the favorites to win the whole thing. Okay, so that went to Olad. Prediction is live. Apakia was seated a little bit low because I didn't know he had done so well, but you guys seem to be pretty hyped up on him, so that seems like an upset to me. Powered up mochi, so of course it would crit. <laughs> Biggest mochi I've ever seen, yeah. Will we get to round three today too? Yeah, we will. Mm, probably. 45 minutes left in the stream. It'd be nice if I if we could get round three done, but that's a lot of matches left. Depends on how fast these go, I suppose. Oops. Just knowing someone gifted you a sub. Yeah, people have been giving up subs like crazy today. Giga Ray miss at 43%. And go with the thwack. Hits it. Not enough to kill. Glitz Gal is still in it. Still hanging out. Pat hits. And that's going to be it for game one. Mango wins. Seven percent. That's going to whiff. Slap hits for big damage. 
Was Mega that if they got into the four-way tiebreaker for DXBL champs? Yeah, it was. Black lands. Dang it, 43. Ooh, hits it. Big damage there. Think you should say something. You're just so nervous right now. Wait, don't let your don't let your pixie know that. You grade 45 percent. Hits it. Does Mango get a grit? He does not. Glitzgal takes game number two. One all. I like the Pokeball pockets on Jilt's knees. Roll Assault opener. 6-11. Big damage to start things off with. Lighting at 64. That's going to miss. Now the Roll Assault didn't need to do it to him, but he did. Mango on... Match point now. Can't believe we got a tie in every championship. I know. I wasn't expecting that. I wasn't expecting the the six way tie or five way tie, whatever it was. No, it was a six way tie in the last one. So I had to cut down to four, and then we still had a tie after that. Slap. Damage there. Up close, Glitz doesn't want to use those power attacks. Hits it though. Hitting the power attacks. I've seen apes do well gives you life. Ape is like definitely like the strongest legal monster in this turn. Bang, miss at 29. Either ape or zoom. I think ape's probably a slightly stronger, but I don't know. It's close. Mango with quick three. So the pixie moves on in losers, but Mango moves on in winners. Blue one. He humanized in hot chick hell. Power plant and power pixie. We saw power plant and power mock, and now we see power plant and power pixie. I always forget to actually spell correctly on this one. Not the tank. You you got the uh... oh. Uh, be human. Okay. So predictions live. Who do you like? We have seven more matches, including this one, to get through to get to round three. And that will mean we did how many? 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41. Yeah, so I might um, I do 41 matches each day. We're in pretty good shape more than enough there's only yeah there's only 113 matches total so that might be the way to do it is just to finish out this round and then play out losers as far as i can go tomorrow and then we'll have top 32 on uh top 32 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 well top 16 winners at least and then down here hold on let me let me count it out while this is going on. We can get to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We can get to top twenty-four. So after two uh, rounds, we'll have eliminated half the monsters. After two days, we'll eliminate half the monsters. There's no weekly winner in the final four? Yeah. That was crazy. 
Slap can do a little bit of damage, but Dehumanize with a 99 Guts, 80% on Root Attack, 70 on Face Drill. Fuck, that's scary. Misses it, though. Swings it again. It's the second time. Ooh, not enough damage. Hot Chick Hell still winning by a very small margin. 1-2 Punch gonna run down the clock. Hits. Doesn't kill, but it's enough. Hot Chick Hell wins game number one. Game two, here we go. Israel not really doing dehumanized a lot of good in this matchup right now. Keeps missing it. Phantom Claw doing a tiny bit of damage, very long animation. A little bit of withering, but it barely matters. Heal rate is, that's the money move though. 308 damage, minus 25 guts dehumanized. It needs to land something big here to tie this up. Face drill will do it. 350. Needs to land it again to win. Heal ray, this might kill. Yeah, 350. Definitely gonna kill. Hot chick hell up to oh. One more win. This plant's gust rate might just be a little bit too slow for this matchup. It's the plant combo. Oh shit, that's a lot of damage for very cheap. In range four. Face drill, but there's the Phantom Claw with power, that's going to do a good chunk. Do it two times in a row if it wants, that's exactly what's going to happen. Three with power. There's the Anger, it still has power active. Would dehumanize with a huge Guts lead, still has power active, how do you still have power active? This is the face drill. Hot Chick's power runs out, takes another Phantom Claw, how much damage? 178, they both got 40 plus Guts, dehumanize in the 50s, jab combo 51. This is that one, Hot Chick Hell looking for the 3 0 right now. Face Drill can win it though. Hot Chick Hell out of range. Face Drill lands. Do 95. Dehumanized. Stops himself from being pushed into losers. Just like that. Hello. Clerk, I'd like one plant combo, please. I'd like the number one. 2 1 for Hot Chick Hell. It's the Face Drill. 486. Big damage there. Hot Chick Hell with a huge guts lead. It's always going to happen. 1-2 punch. Not going to do any withering. Barely any damage as well. And takes very long to do the thing. So Dehumanize getting back into this. The more Hot Chick Hell uses Pat and 1-2 punch. Root attack at 75. Not enough. Doesn't do any damage. Two in a row. Three in a row though. Look at that. Dehumanized. Going to force a game five. 1-2 punch is maybe the worst move in this Pixie's arsenal, in this specific matchup. Like, Pat doesn't do a lot of damage, but at least the animation time is quick. 1-2 Punch doesn't do a lot of damage, and also is very, very slow. Gives his opponent a ton of time to build up Guts. It's the Face Drill, 400 damage, but Hot Chick Hell with that Guts lead. Slap would be great here. Phantom Claw's good. Pat, not good. <laughs> Pat almost worse than not attacking at all. Just letting dehumanize and build up power. Stab combo at 50, misses it. Heal raid active, does he go for it? Oh, moves away, hits the Phantom Claw though. Third 99, a little bit of damage. He just became the score tracker. He's doing a good job though. Pretty close, jab at 64, not enough to kill. Two in a row, oh, into the face drill? Misses it. It comes down to this, nine seconds left on the clock. Dehumanized is winning currently in this. There's the pat. How many pats are needed? How many pats to get to the center of a Tootsie Pop? Hits the root attack. Instead, Dehumanize is going to win that with the reverse 3-0. That's crazy. That's the first reverse 3-0 of the night. So, congratulations to Dehumanized. Don't really have anything else to do. It's freaking me out how the leaves are like big ears, yeah. Sorry if I... I let you know about that. Uh, uh, okay, so Dehumanized wins that one. Who's up next? We got EF5, who we haven't seen yet, and Blorn. Based plant. Did good. We got a Kato. And Blorn.
Leaves probably feel like lamb's ear. They probably feel like hare's ear. Okay, predictions live, make your bets. EF5 is an interesting monster. Intelligence Kato, Intelligence Blue Kato, obviously one of the best monsters in casual play, if not the strongest casual monster. Um, Intelligence Kato, probably worse than Power Kato in competitive, though. What about the Goat Ear, though? Ooh, what about the Goat Ear? What about the Goat Paws? Got some worms on the screen, though. 750 life, 7, 950 skill, a little bit of skill put away. Got that Twister Claw. Wheel attack's gonna hit at 45. Big withering there. It's power immediately, but has no guts to spend it on. Spend on anything. Twister Claw with power, oh my god. Runs out immediately, oil spray at 38% and misses. Blorm's in a great spot. It's the somersault, that's gonna be enough. The worm wins. One zero for Blormy. Wheel attack misses. Oil spray. He wants to use that oil spray so badly. He hits it though, and that's why. Huge, huge fucking damage for twenty eight guts, and also just fifty withering. Why not? Why not? Oil spray is like what almost every other withering tech wishes it was, because lots of withering techs are um, inaccurate because. They help advance game state for you and not your opponent, just like heavy techs do, except it's in Withering. It's by stopping them from being able to use their resources instead of just straight up killing them. And that's often not enough, but Oil Spray does a lot of damage too. Goes for it again. Hits it again. Big ol' damage. Got Intelligence Kato in Kitchen Sink Melee. Oil, oil Spray is crazy, man. And it's like a necessary pickup because it covers up Thrust Claw. Doesn't have any other option there. There's the first Twister Claw. Real quick. Wheel Attack is gonna miss. Like Monos Tentacles? Yeah, Monos Tentacles is the same. Except Monos Tentacles is like minus five or something. It's so accurate for what it does. Ooh. It's the second Twister Claw. EF5 up 2-1. I think Tentacles is minus... It's minus four, I think. In hard mode, it's zero, I believe. I think in hard mode, it's zero. Just in time for your boy. He's doing good. Oh, shit. Fox the power, though. Another Twister Claw will do it. Oil Spray 38. Just land every Oil Spray. Just do it. Oh, there's the Grit, though. It's neutral? Yeah. 3-1. Not so quick, Gujira. Do I gotta fire you? Fire you from Scorekeeper. Smoke Breath Finisher. That'll do it. EF5 wins 3-1, and he moves up to the next round. 3-1. Seeing this, Bolt on blue, Kato, probably not a good pickup. It's not. Bolt is really bad. Bolt is, like, kind of an okay um, casual tech. It gives him, like, a quick intelligence move to use, so you can, like, start actually attacking your opponents. Predator dead and slam duck, and are we going to have Kato versus Kato? We will if Critter dead wins this one. He hit enter before the grip prop. <laughs> Jumped the gun a little bit. Slam do. Okay. Gujira just sees the future. It would have been really hard for the worm to win. He had no guts. And uh, he had one life left. Five more matches before we end the night. Including this one. Who do you like here? Power Tank Duckin. Critter Dead's gonna do about 300 damage with most of his like more powerful attacks, so Slam Duckin will be able to absorb a couple of hits. 
Critical Bounce Stamp is a one-hit kill. Butter Slap misses. Turn Claw is going to do good damage. Crits for 400. Pretty big. Found at 61. A little bit of damage there. Another Turn Claws. Another Crit will kill him. There we go. 333. Critter dead living up to his name. All these high sharp attacks. Kato's definitely one of the best monsters if you're like, hey, I want a monster that only gets critical hits. Kato, there's like Kato, Tiger, Suezo, sort of, Nython, Metalner, Mew, I suppose. That's about it. Drill attack doing big damage there. Two in a row. Ooh, crits that time, but Slam Duckin has such a big gut sleeve that it barely matters. That one takes so much time, yeah, and it's weak. Your speed really doesn't seem worth it. You can uh, definitely make good tank builds. Grit. This is where zero speed hurts because he doesn't need to hit him with anything strong. He's got one life. Also, he's missing every like 70%, which is really rough. Explosion? Explosion would be crazy here. Well, it didn't do any damage, but you know, it was crazy. Turn Cloth. Trigger Dead is going to win this one 2-0, moving into game 3. But yeah, um, tanks are usually worse than speed monsters. There's only a couple of monsters who can run uh, competent defense builds, and they're not the monsters you think they would. They're not like traditional tanks. They're stuff like this duck. Press Claw, a little bit of damage there. Slam Duck and not having anger is kind of interesting. I think it'd be really good for it if you could get it. It's the Drill Claw, 156 minus 8. Look at that, just swinging down. Slam Duck and into the yellow. Yeah, he's missing like literally everything. It's making it hard. Flutter Slap at 62. That's a basic tech. That did decent damage. Two in a row. Misses that one, pushes him back into Bounce Stamp. Goes for Bounce Stamp, 60% to win, lands it. That's a KO for sure. Slam Duckin' wins that one. Obvious tanks like Ghost and Pixie, yeah, exactly. I think Nython's the closest thing to, like, or Metalner, obviously. Uh, Metalner and Nython are, like, the only monsters that have high defense that make good tanks. Potion, 29%. Slash Claw, 99%. A little bit of a discrepancy in the accuracy there. But also a pretty significant discrepancy in the damage... Is 200 damage to himself? God dang. Bounce stamp 55, that's still gonna hit, still gonna crit, slam ducking. Brings it to a game at number three. What was I saying? Crit bounce charge is a kill, or bounce stamp is a kill. You have to deal with having bound, yeah. Another bounce stamp, hits it. No crit that time. Would have killed with a crit still. Press claw 99. It again. Bounce stamp. First one's gonna miss. There you go. You can tell by the animation. I can tell by the animation if it's gonna hit or not. Big crit on Drill Claw. Bound won't do enough damage. Bound charge will. Flutter Slap will finish him off. Everything will finish him off now. He's got 55 life. Goes for the bound charge. Ooh, that's going to miss. It comes down to this. Turn Claws lands. Do we see a grit from Slam Duckin? We do. That high defense giving him the high chance to grit. He gets it. Bound at 65. Flutter Slap at 57. We see a Flutter Slap kill. Do we see a Grit for Critter Dead? We do not slam Duckin with the Grit comeback. 3-0 reverse comeback. The Duck is moving on. Started landing some attacks. And that's what happened. So, as you can see, tanks can uh, make it work. We got Gex. We haven't seen Gex yet. All you guys. Who made Gex? <laughs> it's a zoom, right? 3500? Yep. And Nijimaru. Capital G? That part doesn't matter. It doesn't filter capitals.
Okay, so that goes through the duck. Predictions live, who do you like? Tropical matchup? Yes, sir. Okay. A flower worm was my first max tap monster. When I was like 16. It's a claw. It does one damage. More intelligence zooms are always fun. I like intelligence zoom. Sting and duty damage. Fireball is the play though. That's gonna do so much. When you don't have any intelligence to tank the hit, even as a tank, it's like goddamn. I even just getting blown. Two in a row. It's hard. Gex is a character from the 3DO game, yes. This reminds me of playing 3DO games at William Shatner's house. Pinch throw at the 43. Will it kill? Ooh, barely. Barely living. There's the power, though. Power Fireball will do it. Power Claw definitely won't. Power Hypnotism. <laughs> do like 400 damage. <laughs> 270 on the crit. It's another one. Take it by to your guts, kid. Three in a row? I mean, this is same means to the end of uh, just doing damage, but you know. Nijimaru, still in it. Gex can finish it off with Fireball, goes for it. There's the Grit, though. Grit and 50 Guts lead? That's pretty big. Power hypnotized. Sting at 63, lands it. That's a KO. Ninji with the grit comeback. Wins game two. Bandicoot got to you. Yeah. It's happened to all of us. You want a 3DO just to have one? I bought a Sega Saturn like years ago just to have one. And I have nothing but uh, dreams and fighting games with it. I've got Street Fighter the movie. I've got uh, uh, Night Warriors, which is Darkstalkers 2. I've got uh, Virtua Fighter 2. I've got... What else do I have? I've got uh, X-Men Children of the Atom. Got a lot of fun games on it. And, oh, I've also got Wipeout 1. Which is my, my least favorite Wipeout game, but, you know, I have it. That's a Sega Saturn. Sega Saturn's what came out after Genesis. Also, Gex wins that 1-3-1. One, a lot of fireballs. Channeling his inner pit bull to win that one. Nuclear and Baron Fluffo up next. Vector Man and Earthworm Jim. Earthworm Jim is a game that everybody knows about and nobody likes. It's like, it's incredible how just on the strength of a good IP, like a good character, uh, everybody has fond memories of Earthworm Jim, but those games are like unplayable. That shit is so fucking bad. But it's a great character, and that's enough. Tecmo, more like tech, oh no, oh no, oh no. Here we go, Nuclear and Baron Fluffo. Predictions live, make your bets. Uh-oh, Intelligence build. Uh-oh. Yeah, the game does have problems. I, I like how... In, um... It's almost as if it's a bunch of mini-games put together. It's a platformer, but it's also just like... Each level is drastically different than the one before it, which is kind of cool. Um, but also just basic things like I can't tell if something is a platform or if it's in the foreground. There's like no consistency with that. And which is not great for a platformer like Cardinal Sin IMO. Oh my god, I did so much fucking damage. Mickey Mouse Capades is just ungodly. Okay, I mean... 
are we talking about in relation to Earthworm Jim? Because I would agree, because that game is like... I don't know how to describe how bad that game is. It's a game that exists. Sort of. Oh, he brought up old Disney games. Oh, he did. Old Disney games are the worst. Some of them are pretty good. Um, just not The Lion King. The Aladdin games are pretty good. The Aladdin game on uh, Super Nintendo is better than the one on Genesis IMO, but they're pretty different. How do you feel about Toy Story games? <laughs> gotta, uh... Gotta channel my inner gaming in the Clinton years. Got good graphics. But nobody can beat the game. Jab hits a 62. It's at 60. I'm renting Super Nintendo Lion King, not getting past like level 2. Yeah, that was the entire point of it. So you'd have to rent it again. Never played Toy Story 2. The only Disney games I played on PlayStation would Bugs Life. I think Bugs Life is the only one I played. Oh, there's the Fury on Baron Fluffo. Fury Snowstorm. Do we see it? That's a KO. Want to kill a tank in one hit? Oh my god. Nuclear is having a little bit of a hard time here. No storm opener again. No crit this time, but still a lot of damage, a lot of withering. It's the vigor, doesn't proc anger. Face roll at 63% with a guts lead, hits it. How much damage are we looking at? Five, five, nine. Big old damage. Nuclear in a good spot. Needs to win this one because he's 0 and 2 right now. And just procs everyone's battle specials. Yeah. Those homing berries. Yeah. Stupid grasshopper. Oh, the jab? Jab's not enough, but two in a row, that'll do it. Nuclear, not going out 3 0. Not out of it yet. I think the farthest area we got in the Lion King was the first stage of Saddle Simba. I've beaten the game, but it's not. I don't enjoy it. Ice Wave, two in a row. Base drill, 66%. Hits it. 447. Two in a row? Two in a row. Oh my god. 378. Nuclear, bringing it to game five. Do we see yet another reverse 3 0? It could happen. Could happen. Base drill opener, 58. Uh, missing. 318. Baron Fluffo in a good spot to counterattack, though. Snowstorm with a guts lead. Nuclear's not gonna have any guts left. 500 damage without the crit. Nuclear doesn't get anger. Baron Fluffo sitting in a pretty good spot right now. Nuclear needs crit face drill to secure this. Ice spikes. Good damage, but you know, nuclear is still hanging in there. Slap at 64, misses, pushes him back. Better than landing the attack. IMO and face drill at 64%. Looking pretty good. Hits the root combo at 75. Ooh. Both in the yellow. Another root combo, another ice spikes. Ice spikes will probably kill here. 360 on the crit, but there's the grit. Nuclear with a massive guts lead can start swinging down attacks. Eight seconds left, hits the root combo. Is that going to do it? No grit for Baron Fluffo. Another reverse 3 0. Another reverse 3 0. What keeps happening here? I'm trying to make it interesting because they know we only got a couple of matches left. Crit with the clutch again, I know. We got Flicks up next. Oh wait, is it Thorax? Yeah. Thorax first. Well, that doesn't matter, I guess. Flicks. And then Thorax is a monster we have seen before, just not in this tournament today. Freeman's monster finally fights. Second last fight of the night. Oh, <laughs> you're still here, Freeman. No, you were here hours ago. Uh, 
Okay, so nuclear with that win. This is the second last bet of the night. I'll let the next bet go a little bit long. Spittoon versus Absolute Bonker. That's going to be a fun one. So sad, no grid for the Baron. I know, it happens. I'm sorry. That's okay. He's still in it. He's not out. And getting that far first helps him out. It gives him a pretty good matchup in the next round. Who's he got to fight? The winner of Bugged Miss Prime and I Must Ask You a Question. The Bugged Miss Prime was... Uh, has kind of wonky stats and mustache has kind of wonky text so baron's got kind of a good matchup in the next one i would definitely bet on him in the next one this is an actual brother fight <laughs> yeah it really is yeah here we go horn smash opener 58 percent lands it big damage there looks with a real low skill but he still won his last game The, head, the abdomen and the Thor axe. Boomer versus Millennial. Oh my god. Horn Smash might be one of your favorite techs ever. It's really good. It's him with a heavy punch, 245. Still vigorous. Somersaults at 51. That's a KO. 390 damage. Flix wins game one. Mustache has all the power techs except Jill Combo. I just wanted him to use Frantic Rush more. That's fine. I think Frantic Rush has issues, but it's a fun tech. Somersault misses. I also think um, probably just Jill Combo and Punch Combo is the best um, power build for that monster. Or what's his name? Jill. I don't really like slap combo and uh, clap attack that much. Horn strike misses. But that's just me, you know? Somersaults lands. Oh, it crits. Morax still in it, though. Horn smash at 64%. Do big damage. 900? The grit comeback. Thorax takes it. One all going into game three. Smash misses. White misses again. Rolling bomb at 59. Does a decent amount of damage. Flix has so much life though. It's the two lashes. 53. Ooh, big crit there. Thorax into the yellow. Gets power though. Those power basics on Declon cannot be underestimated. White at 38 is going to land. Lands the 38 basic. Flicks up 2-1. You named your Sloth Beetle for Grim Dabug D. Like the, the Eiffel 65 in blue. Dabug D, Dabug Die. Horn attack misses at 48%. Flicks with a big guts lead. Two lashes looking pretty nice right now. Misses it though. Two in a row? That's four lashes. It's the Horn Smash. 500 damage minus 26 guts. Just like that. They're both down to zero guts. Thorax with a slightly faster guts rate. We got Horn Attack. Hits it. That's enough. Thorax forces a game five. All these game fives. What do you notice with Beaklon is its techs are so expensive? Um, Horn Smash is very accurate though. That's the thing. Horn Smash doesn't do a lot of damage, but it does a lot of withering and it's very accurate. It's like plus 15 or something. Or plus eight, I don't remember. It's, it's really good though. It's it, and that's gonna be it. You usually kind of just stick to the Horn Smash and Rolling Bomb and his basics, or including Horn Attack. Or sometimes you don't even do uh, Rolling Smash and you go for like Beak Long Combo or something. Rolling Smash. That's not a move. I mean Horn Smash. 
Horn Smash is like matchup dependent. Thorax wins that one 3 2. And we are on our last match of the night, which is great because I'm starting to get pretty tired. Uh, uh, Spittoon. And absolute bonker. Just a beak long with basics. Doing beak long with basic things. Okay, prediction is live. You have one minute for this one. Thanks you to everyone. Um, thanks you to everyone. Thanks everyone for watching. I really appreciate the turnout we got today. I really appreciate everybody who entered Monsters 2. It's really great to see this many people still excited to play the game. I wasn't, wasn't sure what was going to happen a couple of months after DX's release. I had a feeling it was going to drop off pretty dramatically, and it hasn't been nearly as bad as I thought it would. I thought I was going to go back to pretty much where I was with viewership and tournament entries, but instead, you know, I have to, like, <laughs> I have to turn people away, which is kind of crazy. Of course, we're going to keep playing. I mean, it's uh, it's not as obvious to me, you know? So I'm glad it worked out. Okay, what are we looking at here? We got 11,000 on Spittoon right now. You guys are betting big on the last one, eh? Rockland card's so high res. Uh, I think... It's just the way it's uh, shaded. I don't know. I, I know what you mean, but no. <laughs> it, it does look better than a lot of other cards, though. It's very pixelated, but I think because his head is square, it like kind of fits. Did bust my ass to keep interest. I mean, I tried. I tried. I'm starting to realize how hard it is to actually put out content and work like my job now that like my job has come back. I haven't been working like insane weeks. I've worked a couple of insane weeks, but I'm usually only around like 40 to 40, somewhere between like 35 and 45 hours a week now. Every now and then I have a couple like crazy days, but it's not like five, six days a week. Um, but just even with that, trying to get videos done is very hard, like very, very difficult. It's it's going to be a struggle for me to get um, a Moose Meadows, not Meadows, a Rancher Rundown video out this month, but I owe it to my Patreon, so I have to do it. It's just, I haven't had a lot of time to do literally anything else other than video editing and script writing and recording and all that stuff. But I actually really like the script for it, so I'm happy with how it's turning out. Endure the simplest hell beacon line, it's just squares, it's just rectangles. Compared to the jar, which is out of focus, I think that's just might be a zoom thing too. Like it zoom further into the the card, Beaklon just punching his way. Needs one more win. Spittoon trying to punch, not punching is good. Mystic combo hits, big damage there. The jar just cannot dodge. Seems that way. Ooh, the hook. He tries it. Bonker just punching his shit in. He's just punching. He's just punching and headbutting. This is the horn strike. Punch. Little punch. Hook misses. Eclon's a monster you can tell they really liked when they were doing dev for the game. Like, they put a lot of effort into him. Another punch. I'll do it. Multiple consecutive punches. Normal punches. He does it. That's a 3-0. That's a very, very low impact 3-0. But we got Thorax versus Absolute Bonker in the next round. Okay, so that goes to the Beaklon. Let's take a look at our standings real quick and then uh, I'm gonna go to bed. Should we call it monster boxing? Ooh.
So we're up to here. The Mill versus Matt Bourne. We got Talon and Fergie. Weird Dog and Tiggs El Grande. This is going to be a fun one because Tiggs gets to fight a tank. So he's probably just going to use Earthquake and win. Mama versus Ola. He's coming. Mango and Dehumanized. This will be an interesting one. Dehumanized winning against the Power Pixie and the Power... Uh, uh, what do you call it? Power Plant. Or Power... Did I write 3-2? This wasn't a 3-2 though, right? This was a 3... Yeah, this was a 3-2. I wrote 3-0. Achikal at 1-2. Um, yeah, winning against the Power Mock and then the Power Pixie as a Power Plant is kind of funny. The mill got a 3-0? Yeah. Fucking destroyed Stormfly, unfortunately for Mads. Um, Mango versus Dehumanize is going to be pretty crazy. This is going to be a fun one. We just saw Slam Duckin versus Critter dead. So it beat the Power Kato. Can it beat the Intelligence Kato? Who is going to do significantly more damage? Especially considering he's got some really inaccurate, like, chunky techs. This is going to be a lot of fun. The Axe and Nuclear will be fun as well, because once again, it's a power monster versus Intelligence monster who can just chunk him super hard and then of course Beaglon versus Beaglon. We, we're gonna have some brothers in the chat when that's happening and down here we got lots of stuff going on so tomorrow we're probably gonna start in losers and we're gonna get up to here we're gonna get the losers round five and then on the final day we will have our top 16 winners and top 24 losers here and that will finish out game or uh, day number three so that's probably how it's gonna go so these guys have a day to wait and we'll see them on Wednesday because we got to get through the dregs first.